Welcome to another episode oh, of The Intellectuals. Uh, we're back. Yeah, we're back. We had a, a small hiatus. A nice uh, Christmas. Stop saying hiatus. You guys weren't on hiatus. You took a vacation. I don't know why I'm saying that word. Yeah, we took a little, yeah. uh, like a little mini vacation. and uh, yeah. we did You some didn't take a mini vacation. Everybody I, was on vacation for the holidays. I don't understand what, what's wrong. Well, we took a vacation too, so it's technically correct. That's what I'm saying. For the yeah. holidays, but it wasn't a mini vacation. Everyone yeah, was off for the holidays. Yeah. Yeah. The two it was an automatic things. vacation caused by the fact they were on holidays. Exa- fuck, he gets it. He <laughs> yeah, but it's still it. a vacation nonetheless. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, and uh, you you had a show, Back on Track. Back on Track. Back on Track, on, on train track. <coughs> not, Happy to be back, everyone. Not actually back on track. It was so much fun. I, I really enjoyed myself. Um, um, Did you take the train to, to nowhere? Sh- sh- yeah, shout out to uh, uh, Helder Santos. Yeah, Helsan came out. What a nice kid. Yeah, he, he giggled. Debatable. And, well, uh, he's a grown man. Uh, yeah. We... we uh, yeah, everyone everyone was on point that night. You you got to see the um Poseidon, you spent time in comedy clubs, obviously. Yeah. Here and there. Uh, in the bathrooms. And and, and in Mainly. comedy shows. And uh, uh you see a difference from the um the vibe of uh, a kind of cuz I, I I performed maybe what 70 60 70% in English, but the vibe of the Italian Montreal <laughs> crowd, the WAP crowd. Yeah, so you and they got, had a good time though. But they did have a good time. This and, one and lady, she brought her son. <laughs> that was a good time. I feel because like, I feel like I played it off. Poseidon well. was heckled by a twelve-year-old. <laughs> what else is new? Uh, I, everyone was heckled by that twelve-year-old. I gotta say, the kid had some zingers. What yeah. he was talking shit? The no, kid was talking he, shit to all the, the comedians. The kid had bro. balls. And, what was and he saying? I was I I was paying attention to my own stuff, so I didn't really listen to what he was saying. But everybody came backstage saying that kid, that kid, that kid. I'm like. Bro, there's three adults here. Not one of you gave that kid shit. And as soon as I went up there, I put the kid in his place and he loved me. Yeah. But what do you mean? Like the kid was, you're saying. He was just, just excited. Give a small dick. Like he a- was excited. <laughs> like, he, he didn't know that you're not supposed to. He didn't know that etiquette. Talk, talk during a. How old yeah. was he? 12. I oh, could have smacked him. Yeah, but yeah. that's what I did. And then at some point, because I have very raunchy shit, at some point I'm going to my uh, master, getting caught masturbating bit. And uh, one lady. Uh, interrupts and she goes that poor kid is gonna be um, uh, traumatized like uh, and I go good and then I played it off while I told him you can blame your mother and this that and I said uh, I blame my mother too for all my problems and then I yelled this is why I'm on this stage ma and people got a small laugh I played See, it off I, I would have just gone to uh, no uh, <laughs> lady don't worry this kid out masturbates all of us I would have said yeah. that oh yeah there's that too but you yeah guys, I, you guys avoided the obvious yeah this kid's whore mother brought him to a bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the. Thi- I'm not what's gonna fuck him up. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I'll take I this moment to give a shout out to Ari Real Estate. Uh, nice to see you. <laughs> um, it, w- it was. Um, it was. Um, it was that kind of stuff, though. Honestly, and, and I want to say. Um, no, no, oh, no, bro. It sounds like a donkey pause, getting killed. Pause, pause, bro. <laughs> oh, no, that was perfect. That was like, perfect. I'm sorry. That's, that was, that's, that was, I'm sorry. That was, let's start the year off right, yeah, my was, friend. Oh, that was amazing. That's Oof, how we start I'm dizzy. the year off. So there was oh, a lot was of... so um, good. <laughs> I had a lot of... Uh, uh, <laughs> Adam has no idea what the fuck just happened. Poor Adam, bro. <laughs> Adam, okay. Be- Why was Adam that, so, invited? Uh, show was good. Adam was invited. He was on the guest list. He didn't show up. Yeah, he fucking uh, ditched yeah. us, bro. Adam, what's up with that? For yeah. his girlfriend. Adam oh. was. Oh. I wasn't in the right state. You were in. Uh, I was Texas not in the right New York or India. Bro, you haven't been in the right horny. state of mind since 1973. Because <laughs> he was horny. <laughs> Five years before I was born. Oh, you, right. oh, you had uh, it was horny night. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was horny night for Adam. That's why it was not in the right state of mind. It happens. Adam, I'm right. I'm Adam, right. It I'm right. happens Adam. to the best of us. Don't worry. However, had you gone there, you could have met a lady who has very Yo. loose morals and willing to bring her children to bars that you probably could have thrown down with. Honestly, Adam, I said hello to a lot of beautiful women that night. I would have hooked you up with the waitress. Yeah. The waitress was, looked uh, like Megan Fox. But I wish I knew who Megan Fox was. <laughs> and I know, I know. Uh, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, I gotta. Do you know what a fox is? A renard. Duh, it's Have an animal. You, okay. Do you know? <laughs> do you know who is named Megan? Ladies. Mm. That in itself. I'm only uh, six years old, and I'm just now realizing the difference between a woman and a man. Yes, I know. That's the most honest thing you just said <laughs> ever. What? I love. I love how anti woke that was. <laughs> I'm just six years old. Yeah. He just said. Listen, retards. <laughs> 
Thank There's you. a difference between That's how I should have started my sentence. Good. <laughs> That's a, yeah, that is actually really good. I, I just Tell know. us, Adam, what would you have done to Megan the Fox? <laughs> I don't know why you're would getting you me to speculate on something that I have no clue about. Adam, if you have... Okay, how about this? Oh, I'm going to show him Megan Fox. Adam, Fox's. you have a beautiful girl coming over for a date. You're now very rich. You don't have... You're not living in your place. You're living in a... Uh, 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 a penthouse, penthouse, Whatever. right? Yeah. So now she's about to ring the 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 lobby. Calls you and says, uh, "Mrs. Megan is coming upstairs, Mr. Co uh, Adam." And uh, you on a scale of you one say, to you ten, you say send them up. And now this girl comes up the elevator. What do you do when she on a walks scale of in? one to ten? She's There's a, a thirteen. Of her. What, what do you right do here. when she walks in, Adam? Well, whatever. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, you like them blonde? He likes. Yeah, he likes them blonde. Ah. Yeah. So this girl walks in. I'm what do you crazy do? About the hair color, honestly. You, honestly, you're the one point. Well, she's the normally one. she's normally like this. Do you pull out the champagne, Adam? What do you do? You're getting me to speculate, I guess. You speculate? Guess you what do you mean speculate? speculate? Come on. You're an it's adult. Wrong boys here. Bro, the last word I was thinking about when seeing this girl coming to my apartment is the word speculate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're going to ejaculate. <laughs> well, those two words rhyme, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh, Adam, that's Adam. what we mean by Megan Fox. That was Megan Fox. She Megan did look Fox like her, by the way. Is, <laughs> uh, really? She really I, honestly, yes or no? What? Did she look like her, yes or no? Uh, yes, but more hoary. Somehow. More hoary. How, yeah. how is it possible? Because yeah. Megan Fox, if we're being honest, add the is French. a thirteen on ten. Yeah, add the yeah. Frenchness to her. <laughs> yeah, add the add the Quebecness and Even add the better. pipa lips, as they say. Yeah, yeah. She Jesus looks, Christ! Well, yeah. Listen, yeah. what kind of strip club you, was this? You know what I said? No, no. no. <laughs> I asked the owner. I said uh, in Italian, while I'm literally saying hello to her, and she's giving me the Pellegrino for the back room. I'm saying in Italian, "Adula uh, trovata kist," which means. Where the fuck do you find this girl? <laughs> while, <laughs> while I'm saying it, and, and, and he's that hot, good yeah, for and you. He, and he said, "Don't worry about it." <laughs> that's the, uh, but that's the most this, of her. this is why I get it. This is why yeah. I get along with Italians. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's the only answer you deserve. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah shout out to uh, Nick there. Uh, thank you. But yeah, we would have. We would have uh, uh, had you spend time with her. Would have been a, a girl like that. Wouldn't I don't you know why you weren't there. Wouldn't you have liked to spend time with her? You and my brother were not. Would there. a lady like that? I suppose. What are you talking about? Like spend some time with a lady like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I have a speech impediment to that. Even my when son I get tired, was there. I uh, I brought my son there. Was oh a good yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cute. you brought yeah. your son out. Uh, there's a vi there's a video of that. I had I'm him all dressed. I had him all dressed up like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah. very cute. It was. Uh, Eh, I call it hacky as shit, but I just got to do that. Who cares? It was good, yeah. Very cute. Well, um, since I uh, just want to share that with you guys, since we're pretty much, we have the liberty to discuss whatever or share whatever thoughts wait. that we, we deem to be appropriate. Can we? <laughs> I'll let it slide this time. Okay, yeah. okay Adam. <laughs> okay. I was thinking about you, actually, Guido, and yes. I remember, Ooh. shit, it must have been seven years ago, you had a show somewhere in Villa Mart on Monk. Now what you're going to, you know, just a thought which cro crossed my mind on a random basis. There was no reason for it, but I remember that I have gone and seen your shows before. That, that was the link I was trying to make. So you your show was so shit that he vowed in his head Bro, subconsciously no, to no, never come back. No, you know what? You know what's even weirder <laughs> is that the show I he's talking about. Her. Yeah, we were all at me. Me too. Yeah. Oh, that's which weird. show was that? It was the one that we did with. Uh, oh, was your, that the one with the, the buffet? The one with uh, your friend Guys, there, the comedian. Uh, uh, come on, the kid from Villamar, the Italian kid. Uh, the the Mike Mayo. Mike Mayo. Remember at that bar? At that bar. Adam oh, Adam was there. Was there? No yeah. way. That was a shit show. Yeah, Adam was there. No way. Yeah. Oh, it was <sighs> Destiny. Well, the principle would you is say, simple. Would you He's say, my friend, and I wanted to I, I, I to was the him. asshole that forgot to bring Adam to you guys then. But had you had met him then? No, I don't know the fuck Adam No, was. we hadn't I think met him. We met you when hadn't we met him next video. door. Oh, that's Remember so that weird. video with the coffee and, and I was playing the role of... Adam was, uh, that was after, those years later. That was with Massimo. How do you gauge a relationship, though? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but you can say it was written to happen, right? Mm -hmm. as, as it could, That it could have been predicted? Do you like Nostradamus? That we ended up meeting? Are you familiar with Nostradamus? A guy in the 16th century. I was watching actually A and E. The guy in the 69th the yeah. century. And what did he say? That the world was going to come to an end. And and he was from France. And? Don't ask me anything more on that because it's very cryptic understanding. People, I mean, the look, way people thought back then. Giving him the benefit of the doubt, if you lived in medieval France, wouldn't you think the world was ending? That's correct. And yeah. and um, uh, uh, I haven't gone that far back in my studies in history. You know what Nostradamus <laughs> means? <laughs> <laughs> he gave a. He gave, a, he gave a perfectly 
logical response. <laughs> I could talk about the 20th century and the 19th, but that's a little... <laughs> I haven't gone that far back in my studies in history. Listen, you goofy bitches. I haven't <laughs> gone that stopped, far back. He stopped at the Black Plague. And he but look, he, <laughs> forget about going back. <laughs> going forward, you can predict some stuff, right? Any prediction? I got a question. Yes. Was this person taken seriously by his fellow scientists? At and the time? Tools? It was not. At the time, well, yes. yes. Yeah, he oh, was. He was. I'll oh. tell you, because he became friends with one of the royals. Mm. And um, But uh, the difference between Nostradamus and Notre Dame is if you are from Notre Dame back then, that area, you were called Notre Dame. But if you went to medical school and you got your doctorate, your name becomes in Latin Nostradamus. So that's how he got that fancy name. It is a fancy name. But silent, because I see you getting flustered. Oh, that was not his name? That don't get flustered, don't name. get frustrated. It's because you're trying to force things. That's why they're not working out for you. Stay calm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay calm. <laughs> his name Adam, was don't Nostradam. force because that's what you do on the toilet. If you got to force it, it's probably shit. Exactly. Uh, so you hear, yeah. heed your own warning. <laughs> Calmate. <laughs> Am I missing something? Or is yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I'm not. Uh, are we doing it? Doing what? Well, you played the um, thingamajiggy for thingamajiggy. Oh, no, you were trying to do a segue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is not the song for the top five. Bro. Oh, it isn't. Oh. Well, well, there's more. There's more. There's time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so apart from that, what else have you uh, been up to? What have you been? Well, up? You haven't seen you in a while. What have you been up to? Well, um, if I if if I had the chance to tell you any out of the ordinary events, I'd say there aren't any. So just doing the usual thing. All right. <laughs> um, I can tell you this. I've never have you been scammed recently. <laughs> no, no. I, maybe you have and you don't know. Okay, guys, can, oh, I, can I get some it. kind of a promise that I'm not going to be exploited here and told right. how this whole right. rigmarole about yeah, yeah, yeah. rigmarole? That's not what exploited means. It's the opposite of exploited. <laughs> us pointing out that you've been exploited isn't us exploiting you. <laughs> yeah, seriously. What the fuck's wrong with you? Okay, what the hell? I'm an honest guy. That's like saying police officer came to stop a rape, and you're like, listen, rapist. Thank you for stopping the rape, but I don't agree with you raping me by stopping the rape. That's insane. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I, I don't think you're honest. I think you believe you're honest, but I don't think you're honest. honest My opinion. bank account. But then wouldn't that make him honest technically? If he's honest, if he believes he's honest, wouldn't that make him honest? I That's what I say this. about kosher and halal. If they don't know they're eating pork, they still believe it. Uh, At yeah. the end of the day, I had to be very aggressive in my tactic. <laughs> <laughs> I know that voice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, uh, listen, we're here to share stories, right? My personal bank account got defrauded three times, believe it or not. <laughs> once? When? Wh Lately? Once a month ago and two times in the summer. Wait, wait, let me ask you something. Were you the guy that did it? No. <laughs> You're welcome was to ask it, me, but that no. Was, was it, it, was it <laughs> pornographically related? <laughs> listen. <laughs> ah, let's put, let's put a word in someone's mouth. What? <laughs> All three cases were unique, and I knew nothing about the first. Okay, the second, listen. If you, as a private person, somebody gives you a check, I don't think there's a set, like, guideline that says, okay, do not take this check, right? If it's somebody you think you can trust. He, what? Apparently, uh, no matter who gives stranger, you a check, you'll take it. A random it was stranger, a random stranger. Just stranger. Gives it was someone I had met, and I, you know. Adam, a I'm random say stranger this. that you met. Adam, I'm going to say this on behalf of everyone. Yes. <laughs> you, just so you, this, again, it's 100% your fault because you were frauded more in that week than I have my entire life. I just said it's been since the summer, not in the That's, week. you've been frauded more. <laughs> That's his defense. Since the summer <laughs> than I have That's my better. entire life. <laughs> that is insane. At some point, you know, strike one. Strike, <laughs> I, at some point, okay. you're the problem. Work with me here. Let okay. the record show Adam's from the same neighborhood as our I prime minister. I did not lose neither, not one of the three times. The, the other than the, the fact that then. I had an embarrassment, I had to go to my bank and explain all kinds of bu bullshit. I didn't lose anything. There was no collateral damage. I will gladly tell you what happened. This gladly. Time. Yeah, tell us. One event had nothing to do with the second, which had nothing to do with the third. The first one was completely random. I don't know how the fraudsters got away with what they did, but they did. There were three money orders totaling $1,500 that were somehow made into, uh, put into my account via a mobile deposit. I have no clue how the hell this was done. Luckily, the bank caught it. Hold they on, saw no, I'm just curious. It was put into your account by mobile deposit? Do you know what that is? It's when you use when you make a deposit without actually yeah, going to I, the bank. I, I know what a mobile deposit is, dickhead. What I'm saying <laughs> okay, is I only learned if they recently. scan, so they put money into your account? Money orders, fake fake money orders. Into your account. Yes. Obviously, what you might be inclined to say is, so did they steal that $1,500? Thankfully, the bank caught it. They saw unusual activity. They froze the account. That's probably what they wanted to do, but they didn't get away with it. So probably what they, they already had access to your bank account, 
And they were I don't trying, know how, but yes. And they were they 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 clearly had access because they were able to deposit. And what they were going to do is deposit in your account and then pull it out of your account. Yeah. Or yeah, transfer probably, it. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Or like they else? they do the money transfer and like no, it's a mistake. Mm. But it's not a real money transfer. But it shows that it is. And then they pull out fifteen hundred of uh, of uh, his own money. So no, no, they were just going to put the money in with fake things because by the time the bank would figure it out, they would have already pulled the money out. That's all they care about. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. So then he would just look like he's scamming the bank. Oh, okay. But yeah. here's an interesting question: You can deposit a million dollars in my account if you want. How are you going to take out that fifteen hundred dollars when you don't have a bank account? That they, where they were going to fabricate it? Well, they clearly have your account. Yeah. How are they going to get a card? Unless they have my ID, oh, they, uh, they, they already copied one. your card. He wants yeah, they to know how he became a lead. That's how they. That's how they. That's how they uh, deposit into your account. They already had a copy of all your shit. They have a fake card. They could pull out money. Adam, there's entire it's a duplicate. businesses oh. so out there. there. There's well, hold on. The bank would have told me that somebody tried to withdraw money. That never happened. Well, it's no, they because they have. hadn't withdrawn yet. That's the whole thing. Yeah. They they froze everything when they noticed the. Um, the fraudulent checks coming. Speaking of yes, fraudulent, but a person who's um, frauded, defrauded me, how, how the hell is he or she supposed to know that? They try and take that money out, and the, it would notify the bank, hey, somebody just tried to withdraw that money. Right? That's not how it works. So the, when you go withdraw money, yes. no one calls you and says, hey, did you withdraw this money? No. Actually, yes, the bank no, did. The, the bank will, no, 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 will no, no, alert hold on, hold on. your credit card if it's been used or something. You but you're are, right. You they don't are, call you. you. No, no, no one's listening. It wasn't listening. a credit card. It was a bank card. So whenever you pull out money, they don't call you. The only time they ever call you is if there's fraudulent activity. Mm -hmm. Can we all agree to this? Correct. Because yes. you yes just no. disagreed with it yes four fucking no. seconds ago. Hold on a second. Yes and no. When the bank yes, no. sees that this guy has just been defrauded, the next logical question would be, and have has have these fraudster, have these people who just pulled the stunt on me, have they done anything else, like take money out? So I yeah, don't but agree you, fully. You, you're answering questions that nobody asked. We're not there. No. What we're saying okay. is right now, when you go to the bank, you have your card, you go to the ATM. If you want to go pull out $20, is the bank going to call you and, and ask you if you pulled it out or stop you from pulling it out? No, because then there's no point of a bank if you can't pull out your money. The but only if they time see an unusual activity, like you pull that, out a thousand, but that's what I already what, said. What you disagreed with? What is unusual activity? Yeah, I just said it. A thousand dollars. So okay. if you pull out a thousand dollars, you know that's how unusual they found activity? this. You know how they found this? You, they, you know how they saw it was unusual activity, bro? The guy gets a hundred eighty dollars a week. Yeah, as paid, <laughs> and then all of a sudden he gets fifteen hundred. Okay. And they're like, hold on, okay. bro. Yeah, well, yeah. well, that's if there's logic in the this world. Get sometimes there's not. Yeah, no. there's no way he jumped. What are you managing the company now? <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, this was episode number one. But, but, but the two hundred thirty-seven dollars <laughs> spent in the Philippines at five thirty in the morning—that one is allowed. Yeah, he, they know he has to jerk off. They're, yeah. like, <laughs> they're like everybody has to unwind a little bit. Episode number two. Him? Yeah. Um, it of, was of, episode number two of what? How did it? Yeah. Oh, 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 we're uh, well, okay, other episodes now. That, yeah, uh, check out our new show, uh, Adam <laughs> Being Defrauded. Uh, so far, what episode? That's not two. a bad idea, actually. <laughs> I, just, I got yeah, We just go to countries and see how we get scammed. <laughs> I got a check which turned out to be fraudulent. It was in exchange what? for Bitcoin, that's all. Oh, okay. Whatever. Like, I didn't lose. Whatever. Hold on, hold on, hold on. These yeah. people gave it me a check. Who of are these people? And you gave them Bitcoin? No. It stopped when I thought, wait a second, what the hell is this? Bullshit? Why are we talking about this on the bus? <laughs> yeah, who approached who you? Who approached you? Someone that I met on the internet. Oh, oh right. God damn it, Adam. God damn it, Adam. Hold on, how'd they give you the check? Again, mobile, same principle, mobile deposit. They sent me an email. Yeah, they sent it to me, my email. and um, They sent you a check by email. They explained to me how... I don't know. Now, guys, he here's clicked a very good email. I'm they gonna, I'm gonna ask Pantelis yeah. this question. He, you clicked the, the link in the email. The person That's not told true. me that I you, could, of that. you could go to Bureau on Girl, get it, get it like a, a blank check, fill it out, and put that in your account. And I asked the person. What? I, I asked. I called Bureau on Girl. They said I, some Bureau banks Girl. allow it, but some don't. So I don't know. Is that um, that? No. Listen. Did you click on a link in the email? No. He's part of getfuck.com. Listen. No. No. <laughs> I'm just sharing my thought with you. Is that true? Do you yes like no? to get fucked Wait, on a regular true? basis? If you send me At the end of the day, an email, I had to be very a format of a check which shows your company, and all I have to do is write the amount of the check, is that considered legal? Wouldn't you That love? is absurd. I can't just write a piece of paper, <laughs> this is my company. So that's... I I, no, it, I feel like I'm talking to a, a child. It's the company that that I'm involved with, right? No, I wish you I could can't. See you the, need the to have an actual check, you know, where it has the, the, the numbers under for the check. It has your, your bank account statement. You are numbers. aware that banks used to give you like four <laughs> blank checks. You are aware. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what a blank check is? Yes, a check with nothing on it. Where you it's write still a check. Yeah. So it's still a check with all the banking information. It's not a piece of paper that says, "Yo, trust me, I got monies." 
It's a special piece of paper. It's not a special. So how come Bureau on Girl wasn't sure if it was legal or not, and you're telling me it is illegal? Because, bro, because you're, you're asking, you yeah. asking some color. You're asking a 16-year-old in the photocopy section. Let me ask you, bro, can I create a fraudulent check? Is that legal? Like, the I don't fuck fucking that girl no. I don't even know what fraudulent they means. They send you the format through email. This is the company. Not this that is... girl and the photocopy section. are you section? talking about a direct deposit form? <laughs> no, no. Company ABC. Okay. You get an email from them... It's a check for no you. Company Let's say does they're that. in the USA. This is what scams. This is what scammers do. Unless there's a routing number, a transit number, a bank number, it you didn't go that far. I'm not sure if there was or wasn't. But if it's just a blank piece of paper, what bank is going to give you the money? Well, well, I never said blank. I went. I told you, Bureau you of Grow has said blank. This, it's okay. Let me correct myself. <laughs> Bureau. They sent me, or they asked me if I wanted to go to Bureau on Grow. Get special paper. Who's they again? Then go to a print store and have it printed according they to those you routing you numbers. They asked from you an email. to create the fake check that you were going to scan and yourself. And he followed with. instructions like it was a treasure map. This You're is, insane. I said, this no, is next level scammers, on. though. Hold on. I said That's no. impressive. I got to say. But isn't it weird? When I called my bank and asked them, I said, is this legal? They said, some banks allow it and some don't. Like you said two moments ago, if it's got a routing number and if it's a real check... Yeah. Right? When this guy so over there but, in Bangladesh caught Autumn was. on the fishing line, did they open champagne? What did Pantos just say? Sorry. <laughs> I said this wasn't a real... So what they told you on the phone is what I told you. A real check with the real information uh, or a money order or a, a, a direct deposit form will work because they have all the info they need to work with. What you're describing is just a name of a company mm -hmm. and um, a blank form. I think it was form. supposed to have the routing numbers written on the check, printed it, on it. Your routing numbers? The companies. Which companies? I, we never went into detail. The routing I'm number on the check the is yours. So if, if the routing huge, number, if, hold on, if you're if there's a if you're putting money in and the routing number is their stuff, the only thing you could do is you can't pull money out of there. You would have to put money in. So you would just be giving them money. You're making a check from this company. Let's say it's called ABC and it's yeah. in New York. Let's say. Yeah. They send me an email right? which shows the format, including the routing numbers. Okay. I print <laughs> it out and they tell me write a check to yourself for let's say five hundred dollars. Okay, this is what I'm trying to tell you. That you you can't be this stupid. You cannot <laughs> you cannot write a check on behalf of another company that you don't work for. There's all no you could do, right? Oh no, no a, all you could do. They're telling you it's a check because you are a moron. It is not a check. What you're doing is you're writing a direct deposit form and you're allowing your bank to give them money. So for example, if I want to give him direct we're deposit, there's things. a form that I could go no, print out. Not. I could give it to him, okay? And he'll put his information in it, okay? And then he can go to my bank account and take money. No. What's going to happen is he's going to, I'm going to put all that stuff down so I that know. I would be able to give him money. You get it? If, yes. I, if, it's, his, if yes. it's my information, it's the other way around. Yes. No, I get that. But okay, I think where we lost each other was that <laughs> like the day we banks met birth. 20 years ago gave four blank checks. That same principle I thought would apply with Bureau on Grow. You get special paper, you print out the name, all that, all those routing numbers you were just telling me about, it, it, right? So that, but the only thing I just realized so that are you're you forging under the signature. Are you under the impression that anyone out there can just create fake checks on behalf of companies they don't work for? Without their permission, that's illegal. With their permission, that's another story. With their permission, it's still illegal because in order for you to write a check and sign for it, it's not, somebody can't give you permission to sign a check. You need to actually legally be allowed to sign a check. So let's say in a company, if two people are allowed to write checks, if the third one signs it, it's it's invalid. It's the only, only thing you the can people, maybe listen to this: you send your signature to me over an email, and then I, I copy that signature on. The yeah, check. that's illegal. With their permission, who can't? Okay, it's illegal. It's still but illegal. Okay. They wouldn't. I, what I'm I love saying that is that this is what attracts Adam. A professional I'm, Adam, I listen was only to me. Asking look, a, on look I'm going to tell you right now. This is from deep inside my soul. Yes. You are an adult man. Yes. Why would you think that a legitimate company would send you a form that they would want you to forge their signature? Or to, it is so oh. stupid. Why for you to believe that that's okay, real. But I said no. So we're, I'm only exploring. But why, the why, why would they even consider doing that? Okay. I will gladly tell you, they wanted me to take this money. How and do they buy benefit? Bitcoin. Does anybody know how Bitcoin? How do works they here? benefit? Can't they buy Bitcoin on Adam, their own? Please yeah, tell why us. Why would they buy their own Bitcoin? Please tell us how Bitcoin works. Why do they works? need you? They give me the check. Why do they need because you? Because they need an investor from because Canada. Because it's full of shit. If they're a company, yeah, yeah. they have money. I said no. I'm yeah, just but you because do realize they need Bitcoin is on the internet. Hold on, hold on. They you need can an invest investor from, from in the world. Canada. You can invest. It's the whole point of Bitcoin. It's off the grid. Anybody could buy. No one's gonna know who it is. Adam Look, gets a kick I'm not out of on somebody's anybody's side here, and I'm not defending I these think people. You are. No, you are. Adam. Yeah, Adam likes shady stuff like 
Uh, you know when Jerry's father buys the uh, uh, tip calculator and he says, is it hot? And he likes if it's Adam likes buying stuff out of the trunk of a car. He gets, Adam he gets look, off on shit Adam, like look, that. I know that you're a straight man, but if you were a gay man, I would guarantee you that you'd be a bottom because you love to get fucked. There, better, well said. That's well, it. hold you, on. You're a masochist. I said Adam. that there was no collateral damage. I said no. That fifteen hundred dollars the bank caught. Let me tell you the third episode. This is. But, but the only reason why there was no collateral me. damage. Here's why I'm concerned. Is because the bank caught your stupidity. What I want is for you to catch your stupidity. Because the only reason why you're not out that money or in trouble with the bank is because they're like, oh, the retard got frauded again. Like, that's the only reason. He completely well, well, skips over that part, though. <laughs> he, he really does. He glances okay. over it. What's the third episode? Let me just say this really... Okay, we'll get that later. A company that found me on... Fa uh, uh, there's a company. this guy that I know... Hold on. There's this guy that, that I know that was in contact <laughs> you look, you with look a woman from Facebook <laughs> who was... The story was that it was an antiques dealership in... Um, an antiques dealer in, in, in Toronto or somewhere, or Hamilton or something, was looking for a worker... Okay, laugh, I'm laugh. Not I'm not finished. I'm I know, not I'm finished. not doing it on purpose. Toronto. It's instinct. It's so stupid, okay, but go okay. on. So... We actually had... You guys have heard of Telegram? It's an app? No. Like, like, yes. Okay. There was an app that I had to download, and we had an interview via text. She told me, why would you consider yourself to be the most appropriate candidate? Blah, blah, blah. Because I'm a retard. <laughs> you stole the words right out of my mouth. I actually started working for her, and listen to this. She asked me to buy some... Um, I'm sure you guys know That's what the Villanova MasterCards is, those prepaid MasterCards. That. Yeah. Thankfully, I didn't have any money. Send them so she said, okay, I'm sending you a check for $1,000, which turned out to be fraudulent. Thankfully, I, I, Shocking, I, I closed my connect, you know. Good that now you listen, saved your ass. I've never been scammed by a would-be employer. I've been scammed by private people, but not a person. <laughs> but they're not a would-be would employer. They're all people scamming you. I am sure if we had some kind of a forum, you know what a forum is, right? Like a, a, a symposium. It's called Reddit. There are hundreds, thousands of people that get scammed, but I have to be exploited. That's why I use the word exploited. How, people you know, telling me how nuts this that's is. That's not right? exploitation. That's us yelling at you <coughs> to get your shit together so you don't get exploited. I've never yeah. been exploited by a would-be <laughs> employer. <laughs> he just said he's never been exploited. He just what said he's mean? never been they're, exploited. They're not would-be employers, bro. You keep calling them that. He thinks I've never been associates. approached by... Okay, I'll rephrase this. I have never been in a situation where somebody offered me a job who looked serious... Who turns and pulls out a pulls a fast one on me like that? Never. Adam, except for Adam, this, this scam right now. That every single caught. thing that's ever happened to you, Adam <laughs> should sell a T-shirt called "I Believe Every Email." Adam, that is true though. You got to fucking shape up with the emails. It doesn't. You know. You know what I want you to think of every time it happens. Kind of like when I get because I get scam emails all the time. I never reply to them. I get like your your package from Amazon has. Uh, but I know. <laughs> here, here's the thing. I'll, 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 you, I'm going to give you some tips that I use. Go ahead. Number one. Uh, have I actually ordered an item? If I haven't, there's no reason to click on anything. Guarantee you it's fake. And you know what the easiest way is? Go look at the email. Look at who sent it to you. Don't look at the name that's highlighted. Click on that email. It's going to show you the full email. It's never going to be a real email. It's going to be 1200 Amazon at fake. Dot. Yeah. It's never going to be at Amazon.com simply. It's always going to be fake ass shit. So do a little bit of due diligence. Just look a little <laughs> bit. You know? Un poquito. Uno poquito. Why do I'm I, curious okay. of the third episode now because yes. I, I feel this is a month ago and we didn't hear about it. And I feel I, yeah, I, you, I you, feel like the reason we didn't hear about it is because it's he bad. didn't want to get yelled. Okay. All right, let's go to guys, number guys, three now. Guys. Come on, let's let's. let's I gave you the three. Let's the talk. fake check uh, for for the for the Bitcoin investment. No, that was not number three. That was number two. I got a fake check from an employer. An employer and Bitcoin are two different things. Hold on, hold on. You keep saying employer. This was not an employer. A person who looked like they were supposed to act as my employer. What hold is on, a hold on, hold on, hold on. person hold on. who looked hold on, hold on. like they acted as his employer? The person that asked not you to boss. buy the person that asked you to buy prepaid credit cards yes. and send to them. That does not sound like something uh, what an employer would ask you to do. Okay. It is incredible. Okay, let's let's start from the beginning here. I understand that you seem to be a person with a lot of common sense and figures it's wacko. The woman explained to me what these cards were for. She had clients that were buying furniture. She got me to send about 34 emails. I am now... What? My name is Adam. I am now so-and-so's assistant. When, when, when did she hire you? She hired me on the Friday. The emails were sent on the Saturday. And Okay, on. she hired you in person? I told you. It was done over the phone. All right. Hold on, hold on. Over text. You never spoke with her. That's right. But she's it your employer. On the, on the and wait, you app. sent random emails to people telling them what? My name is. It was all. The, it was all the same thing. Like yeah, but what was the email? Clicked and clicked and clicked. My name is Adam. I am now an executive assistant for so and so. 
Uh, if you, if there's any, if there are any issues, please deal with me, and I will. Oh them. my so God! She people, used him to fish all the others. That, yeah, all the people that she was scamming. If there's any issues, oh come back. Oh my God! Bro, you you can't be with me. I have my own. Oh my God! I had a special email created. Oh it had nothing to do with me. Oh Good. my God! At least God. that's sensible. Did you use your real name? No. No, no. Yes, but, but I didn't use a real name. <laughs> does, she have, does she have your social? No. No, she doesn't. I don't believe him. She doesn't. Okay. Because here's the funny part. I said, oh, yeah, yeah, I it. cut my contact with her through Telegram right away. It never even came to that. I guarantee you know she doesn't have my social. That's good. That's thank God you. Okay. you thank God but you figured start, out that she was uh, fucked up uh, this right away. I want to hear you say it a second time. This is not exploitation. This is you yelling mm. at me. That's not. I'm a not yelling. Who's yelling? Nobody. Do you yelling. know what exploitation is? Making some. Well, it's got a few different meanings. <laughs> please no. tell me your favorite. Yeah, please tell me your favorite. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you a good one. Yeah, We're I'll about tell you what before. exploitation is. The Exploit guy who owns McDonald's hires people working at twelve dollars an hour. The, 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 that's the owner not exploitation. Is a no, uh, that's he's work. A, remember, he's a communist. Yeah, that's not exploitation. <laughs> that's right, work. I swear to God, I will throw coffee in your face. Yeah, that's not exploitation. Exploitation would be right now is that I realized that you're an imbecile. So I would scam you by taking your money or asking you to buy me prepaid credit cards. That would be me exploiting your weakness. I am not. I am finding oh. your weakness and I am telling you, for the love of God, stop letting people fuck you. Oh. And then you hearing that someone is judging you, you get oh, angry see, and I you're see. saying, stop exploiting me. Instead of saying that to the millions of fucking Indians that keep exploiting you every single day, you come to me. The guy in Bangladesh or, that tells you he's your girlfriend, that's fine. <laughs> but me who fucking tells you stop giving him money, I'm the problem. Or, or just to make this simpler for you, you said if uh, a millionaire, first of all, that person who, who uh, hires employees, he runs the McDonald's, he owns the franchise, but he's not necessarily a millionaire. If he has just one, he owns- Fine, low millions, one million. No, 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 not even because he doesn't even have an asset. The building belongs to McDonald's. He just owns- the name, which is not... Anyways, it's yeah, complicated. Uh, McDonald's is very weird about that franchise. They year. make money. They make money. If you own a few, you make very good money. You, you don't become an insane millionaire. <coughs> but anyways, so he works hard himself. That's the first thing. That's the first thing I'd like to get rid of. He takes $1.2 million of of, uh, uh, of a loan, basically, uh, with a down payment, which is usually around 10%. But anyways, that's besides the point. Yeah. Um, so that he can buy the Hold business. on. Hold on. If that owner of mm. uh, that franchise then hires an employee and then pays him under minimum wage without the employee knowing, which I think it's impossible to do. Everyone like knows. In the that. Western world, yeah. In the Western world, at least. Uh, no papers, cash. Or, or doesn't pay him at all. And tells That's me, exploitation. You're going to slave yeah. for my McDonald's without me. Okay. Giving, hold on! <coughs> my without, dishwasher that doesn't have working papers. That's exploitation. Without me giving you a salary, an hourly wage, that is exploitation. Why is but hiring that? someone... For a hourly wage is not exploitation. You hire someone, they trade their time, and you pay them for that time to do tasks in the restaurant. How is that exploitation? I will not lie to you. This is this is something that my it's a term my father coined. Okay. And he even said it even he had an engineering company and there were engineers that were well paid. He says I exploit my workers. This is just the economic conditions of today's workplace. Yeah, that that, that yeah, your he, father he, he, missed, uh, he missed, coined a he missed word that I didn't it. understand. Yeah, yeah, he he meant well, it he in one way, but you understood because, it another because way. Because here's the thing: things go over your head a lot. What your father probably meant, yes, is for the job that they're doing. It's like he's exploiting them. It means he got a good deal. Because when you get a bunch of geniuses in a room and they're creating the new Tesla, the new PayPal. We're not talking about making a few thousand dollars. We're talking about there's the possibility millions. of making millions. So that's yes. why he was saying that. Same thing with like video game. If you look at video but game he developers, wasn't, yeah, and he wasn't literally exploiting them. I would just yeah. like to say, no, no, he was just a turn of phrase. Let yeah. me ask you a question. I was what? hoping you could say yes, no, or maybe. Okay. Is there a I fine promise to say line one to three. between what entails full exploitation, partial? Let's say, let's just say, okay, there's we're no not such thing as we're uh, not uh, North Korea. We are not the labor there's board. There's no fine line. If McDonald's pays a worker ten dollars an hour, it's illegal. No, it's not. Is there a fine line? No, yeah, because the Minimum, minimum wage, wage is well, but it's not twelve. Is that guy going to report like it? To, Sixteen, seventeen. Is that guy going to report himself? Is somebody going to report him? Let's say they don't. What are you talking about? No one. Listen, you because you keep stealing the jobs of the off the boat people. That's different. But in general, most people that are above thirteen years old in Canada are not arguing that because all these companies they go to work for McDonald's, Dollarama, whatever, pays you at least the minimum wage. So there's nothing you can argue. With coverage, if dental, you, yeah, the with whole thing. If you're, if you're getting paid below minimum wage and you're working for a real company, you're a dumbass because 
there, there's nothing stopping you from telling them to pay you minimum wage. Like there, there's no, you're not in Bangladesh. But you you're convince yourself you're, it's okay oh, to do that. Yeah. Adam, but that does not. I can't that doesn't. You know what surprises me about Adam? Surprisingly, I've never heard of you getting involved in like a multi-level marketing or a Ponzi scheme of some kind because you seem like the perfect candidate. He's at the bottom of the pyramid. Do all you know the time. why? Do you know why? Because in those you have to give them money, but he always thinks that these scammers will, will give him. Will give him money. Okay, you have yeah. to start with something. Yeah, Maybe yeah, that's yeah, why. Yeah. Yeah. You're a taker, Adam, Anyways, not like, a giver. Can, That's why you can, like to take. You I would, can tell this exploitation is uh, not a very, very pleasant subject, so we can move on. I no, mean, no, but it's just it's you got to know. It's quite pleasant for some people. It's quite pleasant. You just have to know what you're talking about. Like, I enjoy exploiting Especially people. Especially when, when the people who. Uh, first told you I think it's and that's cool, us, actually the people that first told you that you're getting exploited you're getting tricked by fake women on the internet that are is just us. dudes is us we try to warn you and you kept getting mad at oh, us I see. and then you keep saying that we're the ones exploiting you by telling mm. you to stop yeah. falling for these scams if Which i wanted to exploit you i would <laughs> pretend to be a lady and get yeah. you to send me money but i would not do that to you because I, I i don't want to do it it's, it's like he's it's saying me. that's quit ruining yeah. my buzz <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's saying quit ruining my buzz that's mm -hmm. so funny uh, Adam, well, um, uh, anyway, good Lord. Yeah. Um, I'm glad you started 2023 on the right foot. Yeah. Um, do you have any predictions, uh, my friend, for this year? Should I mention all three or? Oh, oh Jesus wow. Christ, these people. <laughs> uh, uh, give us one. Okay. Give us your favorite. This Hold one, on a this second. One was like, this was one which was pretty pretty much was you guys have a much list? appreciated. Yeah, yes. we have a list. But yeah, but we're not going to get to it. Let's see, let's see, yeah. Adam. Uh, what the was actor Will Smith going back on the uh, going back on the stage, even though he was banned. And going back on the stage, and I think we turn around and then going like back on the it. stage. What the fuck are you talking Being about? Being allowed. He, he's he's uh, he's implying that Will Smith was uh, banned from the Academy Awards for somebody. ten years. Yeah. So he's saying he's going back on the stage and then just started giggling. Oh, it's fine, dude. And then Guido added something about. I'll Dude, this you. is the U.S. of A. He slapped a black guy. You could kill them there. He's going to go back on stage. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, bro. That's so funny that he says that. <laughs> uh, Why? All right. What's your next? You'll see. Yeah, uh, I, what's your next prediction? The Canadians winning the Stanley Cup. <laughs> They're last place right now. Are they really? Close to the bottom. That's Honestly, Adam, if they win the Stanley Cup, the, club, club, the, the Stanley, Stanley club. Cup, the club, I will give you $100. You have a joke wow. about the U.S. Uh, and racism also? We'll get to it. Oh. This was one that I started, but I'm going to let Guido take the credit because he's the one who changed the words around about Ukraine. Yeah, so the, the one that we have on our <laughs> list that now if we talk about now, we'll ruin the one later. Okay, so no. All mind. right. But no, that, um, uh, look, look, that, that was being Adam's said. predictions. <laughs> that, being said. Our predictions are a little bit different. Here's this week's... This, yeah, or this I guess. year's yeah, beginning of the year. Top, yeah. Whatever, bro. Today's top five and a half. Our predictions of 2023. Now they're our pre pre <laughs> That's Poseidon being futuristic. Poseidon. <laughs> he, Poseidon now is dressed like the Matrix. Holy uh, shit. <laughs> I am the one. <clears throat> Number five. Adam gets married to his girlfriend. Okay, Adam, explain this one. It's not much for me to say, honestly. <laughs> Did somebody propose? Yeah. No. He proposed. You pro Adam, don't guess, fucking Guess who proposed, though. Who's putting words in whose mouth here? I don't know if that's all you're putting in each other's <laughs> mouth, bro. Did you propose to one of these fucking Bangladeshi guys? No. Well, we believe that this well, year you, you will... I did. You will, you will elope. Oh, we said Listen, jokingly. I don't, don't want to get arrested by did. marrying a Bangladesh guy. Okay, so let's not go. Oh, there. Wait, did you, you, you propose for marrying a Bangladeshi guy? <laughs> did you really propose to one of these I'm internet joking. trolls? No. Okay, that seemed and unreasonable, but okay. Well, okay, we, this is supposed to be a comedy show, but there's a limit that I think is being crossed a little bit here. Okay. <laughs> Adam, uh, I'm gonna ask you this with all sincerity. Are, are you or are you not planning to get married to these fucking scammers? <laughs> no. Okay, good. Did you buy a ring? No. Wait, so is, you, this your, is this your prediction that you think he might or he said something that oh, made him Oh, I think he's going to get married this yeah. year. You're putting words have, in my mouth you, and it's been recorded me saying those words. So have you been Have you been that. looking at rings? No. Mm, Look, I, I, I personally on YouTube... Are we ready for light detector been, test? I'll take one right the, now. <laughs> uh, uh, mail order bride ads on, on my YouTube. Can you explain how that works? It's uh, right up his alley. Because uh, uh, I basically I hear the term in, the nicest, in the nicest possible way, they are saying 
sponsor my immigration to your country and I'll give you whatever you want. Okay, that's what it is. That's all it is. Okay. But you got to have money. Like just enough to pay that fee and crap and stuff. Well, you I know guess. what? I think I kind of really misphrased that. Yes, you're allowed to marry a guy. That's I was I I was I was looking at it at a slightly different angle. Some guy from that Bangladesh comes here and we that don't love each time, other. He just that whole time <laughs> that's what Adam was thinking about. He solved gay marriage. You know what? He, he, you're the you know what you are. You're the gift that keeps on giving. Marriage. That's true. <laughs> right. Uh, I think he will. Ne you will never stop giving. He's like he, an everlasting but cum attempting shot. to take money. <laughs> Yes, he's an everlasting cum <laughs> shot. That's very well said. Thank you. That's funny. Point, point okay, yet, yet if I refrain from using the word exploitation, let me say this, please. I don't know how many... There are TV shows that all are about people that have been scammed, whose IDs have been stolen. The list is endless. My, my Even my credit card company, when... Um, it doesn't matter what there is. Okay, since you want me to tell you the What's truth, What's the name right? of that show? The there Cosby was a, show? What's the... Pardon? I don't know. <laughs> Could you imagine being in the fraud department <clears throat> of MasterCard? And okay, what's this next one? Ah. Billy, this is the devil. I'm back to tell you. Choke him. Choke Adam now. <laughs> Dude. But it, could you imagine being yeah. ah, in fuck. Revenue Quebec? It's actually called the Adam File. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got it out of it. All right, I since, since we seem to be centering on all the <laughs> not so nice, <laughs> since we're centering on all the so, not so nice things that I've been privy that have happened in my life, I got it audited by the government. It's not, I'm not uh, surprised. surprised. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not surprised at all, actually. So, Adam, look uh, uh, to keep this going. Uh, yeah. We predict that by September you're married. Done. Next. Well, I'm not gonna go on that, but let's see what the next one is. No more quattro. Number four, UNICEF <laughs> donates billions of dollars to Vladimir Zelensky. Yes, with the, uh, the, 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 with the way everyone's giving this guy money, soon UNICEF will be giving uh, money to Zelensky. T uh, Times a uh, man of the year, right? Yeah, there you go. Times Just like Maggie's Hitler. man of the year, yeah. A man of the year. Just like Hitler, uh, yeah, correct, uh, correct uh, uh, well, observation. He, he, he did his, uh, his little promo tour with Biden, uh, walking around. The yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, uh, he committed treason. It's funny you mentioned UNICEF because I was talking about this this week. You remember? Yeah. yeah, you remember those? You remember UNICEF, Adam? We used to wear those things on Halloween, walking they around had an for orange chair. logo. Yeah, right? yes. yeah. So the whole box was orange. We used to there give them at least you know ten, twenty, thirty dollars uh, after each Halloween season. Each student would give to UNICEF uh, after uh, the balls on these motherfuckers. And and, and, and and so we're talking about the eighties, right? So it's like Fubu. Yeah, this one was for, for kids us. by kids. Yeah, but the, it was never for kids. It, 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 like one percent would make it to so, those African children. But I haven't yeah, heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's exploitation, Adam. They that would exploit North American children so they could yeah. uh, justify their salaries and then keep those kids on the commercials hungry with flies so, around. So, so thirty-five years later, Sarah McLaughlin, I have yet to hear. Thank God, UNICEF collected all that money in the eighties because right now. This family's eating because of what you did. Mm. No. Nothing. No, but uh, the Bono. Bono sings about it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> they all pocketed from it. That's why they're going to solve the Ukraine-Russia yeah. war. Yeah, so they're, they're the right people they to act. In, it's yeah. finally going to end. They're the right people to... Um, has yeah. has, um, has uh, Zelensky taken his, um, uh, you know, uh, infamous, like, photo? Like, uh, you know that, that photo of Che Guevara that everybody puts on their T-shirt or that Obama hope photo? Is there a Zelensky like change uh, the world photo that's a good yet? Question. Probably. Is there an iconic Probably, yeah. Zelensky photo? Probably, yeah. yeah. It's him in his sure. sweatpants there. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's uh that's um awful. Okay. All right, next. Yeah. Number three. At the Oscars, Wakanda Forever actor slaps Jada Pinkett Smickety Smith. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which actor did you mean? I don't know the names. I'm um, not racist. up to date in my... So you um, think one of the actors from a uh, Black Panther film is going to smack Jada Pinkett Smith in the face? I predict the princess. I, um, 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 you know, that, 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 that statement works on many levels, but I will say this. Something's going to happen in regards to that slap last year at this year's Oscars. You think it's going to be to be continued? It's going to no. It's going to be they have to acknowledge the elephant. Blah blah blah. blah. What's going to happen is uh, probably in my uh, besides the Wakanda Forever uh, mm. actor sh shooting everybody, 
I would say uh, what? presenting the Wait, awards what? or slapping. Sorry. But why uh, would the? I don't know who you're talking about. I'm Is being it? absurd, but I think. But they, I know you're being absurd, but there has to be a point to it. I don't understand what it's you're talking about. It's because this week Wakanda Forever uh, Black Panther movie came out. And because they're both black, it came out I, this that was week? not this week. Oh, whatever it is. Doesn't what matter. the fuck my is he point, talking about? Okay, I hate you all. My point is, this bro, that is an old <laughs> Italian man. I yeah. saw somebody's a black a pig on there. It's celebrate like, the it's, film. It's like your grandmother calling every cartoon Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Hold on. No, what I'm trying bro, to say is hilarious. This, you this Black week, Panther came out this, last week. This week, uh, uh, no, this year at the Oscars, I will say they will present an award together. Uh, Jada Pinkett Smith and Chris Rock will come out to present an award. That's and right. then he's gonna bang her. Probably already did. That's yeah, why he's, he's not gonna do that again. Are yeah, they related, time, by the way? Huh? Jada Pinkett Smith yeah, and Will Smith. Funny. Are they related? Yeah, they're brothers. Not bro- brother and sister. But not in the literal term. Like they're brothers and sisters. Right. Not biologically, but in a sense, in yeah. a different sense than biologically. Some might say they had children. They're together. roommates. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They All really right. are. They're roommates. That's All right. Uh, mm. All right, What's let's that go. Giggle? All right. Sorry for that. <laughs> I like that he thought that all black people are related. <laughs> <laughs> no one caught that. Yeah, all black people oh, are related. <laughs> we named two black, the only two black people in you and cinema. He's like, are they related? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, uh, Adam. Number two, Claudio Capri becomes the mayor of RDP. Yeah. I mean, he has a porn hub channel called Claudio Capri, mayor of DP. Hey. (laughs) So we're just playing with the letters, right? (laughs) That is so... (laughs) We're we're, we're playing with the letters the same way you DP'd with Claudio, bro. (laughs) Mayor of DP, that was good. (laughs) Uh, that should be his Instagram <laughs> handle. Wait, I thought it was. was. Capri, mayor of DP. Well, no, he has a Pornhub <laughs> handle like that. Yeah, but you don't not subscribe to his Instagram his... handle. Oh. Wait, hold on. That's so, just Claudio Capri has two dicks, right? I want to hear about this. I want to hear about this. What's, what's the prediction here? So we predict somehow Claudio, in all of his lunacy, is going to pop up in some mayoral race in RDP and is going to go, way. People he, would, he would win. This guy. Wait, d- does RDP have a mayor? It's called well, a borough mayor, I think. Yeah. Yeah, like Park Axe has a mayor. I'm not even sure if Claudio's from RDP. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Claudio is not from RDP. We should clarify that. <laughs> How about he just becomes mayor of Montreal? Can we do that? That's yeah. never going to happen. Way. He, he does look a bit like Dennis. He doesn't Dennis speak Kodan. French or English. It's never going to happen. <laughs> 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 okay. Claudio hooks up with Ted Cruz and becomes his running mate. How about that? Who's Neither of them run, bro. Right. I don't think Claudio is an American, though. Slight problem, eh? <laughs> That's correct. That is. <laughs> All right, what's your number Way! one? <laughs> what is life? All right, All right number one. <clears throat> number one, slavery becomes cool again. You know what? Uh, can I ask you a question? When did it stop being cool? Because in case you didn't notice... The biggest problem we have right now is economic slavery in the Western world. Yeah, but it's not cool yet. It is cool. So everybody's buying shit on credit. Oh, you're it's right. It's cool to be a slave, man. But I'm man, talking about the other kind of slavery. Idiots. The kind that they have right now in Africa. <coughs> yeah. So you're talking about different forms of slavery, obviously. We have to clarify yeah. then. Which one are we talking about? Which one are we talking about? Well, the one where you enslave people with chains and you make them work. Mm. So Africa, the mines and all that shit. North and South Carolina, way back uh, then. Uh, Egyptians, yeah, Jews. Um, yeah. Oh, that's way too old. But okay. it's happening right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Adam, did you know that a lot of the batteries that we... A- any reusable battery comes from slavery? Because it's made in Bangladesh and country. No, 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 no. You, just to mine that uh, oh. that material. And it's not to say when a husband hits his wife a second time. That's also well, hold on. reusable battery. I would battery. like to clarify so oh, people don't think I'm a fool. Oh, that's good, actually. That's I smart. know that... I have a... Okay, let's see if I can actually get some kudos that's from you guys. Great. All right. We live in a country where because the minimum wage is whatever, $12 an hour, I may be wrong, but I believe in countries like India, I don't think they have labor laws that are the equivalent. If you wanted to, they could probably pay some joke of a, of a salary like $5 an hour. I think I'm not that far from the if truth. Well, that would be lucky. Okay. They pay less. And that's yeah. exploitation. You know that's what's it, funny? But it's not slavery. You know but how we know? What I'm saying is slavery actually exists. The people mining 
uh, oh, for real? the materials. So wait, you oh. call slavery the work conditions that are subpar, that are not legal, or are you no, using no, the slavery? Sol- you are owned by someone else. You are bought and sold. It, Libya became the slave capital of Africa. In Libya, after the fall, human beings were being traded for money. There's videos of human beings in chains being sold. Was it legal? Or the government How cool is that, never, guys? Never Did you just ask? Was it legal? <clears throat> Last time I checked, you do that, you go to jail. So here, here, you go to jail. Not in war toward Libya. Um, maybe the UN had something to do with it. I don't know. The UN definitely has something to do with it. Okay. They're fucking slave traders. You know what's okay. funny? Have is you ever that, seen Taken? You know, you know, he hasn't had a real job in a while because he still thinks the minimum wage is twelve dollars. Yeah, how much is the minimum wage? It's like 13, fourteen. It's 13, yeah. 14, whatever. I just threw a number in my head. Just oh, how's a your? Uh, you're doing a course for a year. How's that? I stopped. You, of course you did. Wait, what? Adam was supposed to become a stenographer or something. They were going to give him a lot of money, and he's like, ah, forget it. Adam, oh, right? I, I, hold on, hold I've on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause, 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 pause. I have to collect a lot of my thoughts that are happening at the same time. Go ahead, because we're driving you crazy until you do that. Strangers on the internet contact you. And pretend to give you money. And you go, oh, money. <laughs> and they hack into your account and shit. And they try to pull money and shit. It's not actual money. And then the government is like, hey, yo. Also strangers. Stra- also strangers, but the government. Legitimate source, right? Hold on. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I have to add something. Ah! That had something to do with my father. Stop it. <laughs> Stop speaking. Okay. They go, we will give you an X amount of money. To study in this and to get a job in it, which will probably pay you a good salary as well, or a good hourly wage. I, I would guess that's not salary, that's hourly. And that you don't have to pay back. It's not a loan. They are giving you the money. Mm-hmm. Correct. I think I and what the hold on. <laughs> And you said, ah. Adam, I rarely ever defend you. However, I will say that the man attacking you right now is the same man that was offered $5,000 to lose weight <laughs> oh. and said, ah. I'll, I'll, I'll do <laughs> double or nothing right now. I'm starting right now. There's no way you're going to give him 10 Gs. Because I'll lose weight anyway. You know what? Touche. <laughs> yeah. Touche. Touche. Adam, you are two, uh-huh. you are two sides <coughs> of the same coin. Uh, um, you know what? This what? made me... I'm going to go kill myself. One has hair and weight. The other lost the hair and the weight, but you're the same person. <laughs> uh, I'm very upset at myself. Oh, no. He just realized... Because he Did just he... realized the connection between him and Adam. Um, that's... Uh, anyway, okay, we got a half. Let's Listen, get rid no, of that. no, no. This is the last episode I do. I think. <laughs> that's I, very funny. I'm gonna go, laughing, I'm gonna go kill I'm myself. I'm laughing because I have lung cancer. That's all. I'm gonna go kill myself. I mean, you all are, in <laughs> fact, the intellectuals. Pantelis, I just uh, wanted fuck, to bro. clarify the wording, if you will. Okay. Oh Jesus yes, Christ! That's what needs to be clarified. Exploitation would be never He's mind still laws. On exploitation. No, I just want to make a parallel. Exploitation yeah. would be if somebody was working here, never mind the reason, for ten dollars an hour and didn't say anything. That would be exploitation. No. Michael. Not if they're agreeing to work for it. Exploitation would be taking advantage of someone. Fine, how about that this? That doesn't know any better. You're being paid ten dollars an hour, but you're being you're being given fifty hours of work, and you're only being paid for forty. Let's say. Yeah. Okay, that's an example of exploitation. Yeah. No yeah. exploitation. Yeah, exploitation is. It's kind of that. If yeah. I agree okay. to it, it's not exploitation. Well, you're afraid yeah. you're going to lose your job, so you have no choice but to listen to the boss. I said, never mind the reason, but if it turns out that that's what happens... Yeah, but there's, there's you're laws being, in yeah, place. You're putting, you're putting too many stipulations. Like you, You're like, look... It's like you're justifying yeah, your behavior, it's, yeah, it's, it's almost like I'm talking to a child. A child's like, yeah. would you have sex with a rhinoceros? <laughs> I would never have... I would, But actually. listen, what if the rhinoceros uh, has magical powers and having sex with it will give you men's dolls, and if you don't, your mother's going to die? Like, you're putting all these stupid okay. stipulations. Let me make a point, please. Yeah. One moment, one moment. I haven't talked a lot in a moment. What you're trying to justify is instead of saying, I work 40 hours, I work 50 hours, but they pay me for 40. Is it okay for them to do that to me and I'm scared to bring it up? That's you what you're asking. You should bring it up. You should bring yeah, it up. That's another that's aspect. You're, that's, yeah, yeah, you that's, you that's how point. usually you behave. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All I but you're to rewording it somehow. Pantelis pointed out that what he's doing to me is not exploitation and that's <laughs> fine. I wanted to just discuss oh, what? the... When you are in let the record show. Let the record show. Pantelis almost fell off his chair. (laughs) (laughs) You just said what (laughs) Pantelis is doing to me. You're the example. What did I do? I'm the one scamming you. You just sat down. There was money. There was money on the table before you sat down. Yeah, seriously. That's hilarious. So I'm asking what the wording implies. When you're someone and you're telling them, hey, I'm smart. 
and you don't seem to be that smart, and I'm pointing things out to you, what is that an act of? I'm not talking about exploitation. That's an act of being wise and, and That's educating an the person. That's an act of mercy. That's all I wanted to hear. It was nothing, so, <laughs> nothing so, offensive um, meant, meant. I, I have a half-half I want to add to this I thought I was list bad. <laughs> Oy vey, bro. I, I have a half-half I want to add to this. Uh, we're we're going to yeah. interrupt this uh, yeah. important broadcast for a more <laughs> important broadcast. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Guido. It's my birthday today. It's, it's birthday? his birthday. Yeah, we're oh, recording shit. this. Happy, happy birthday, Guido. Happy birthday. I didn't know. I, uh, I know I would have brought some cake or something. I, I, know, I know. I know. I tend to not uh, tell people, but... Uh, That's yeah. fine. How no. old is the young uh, girl that you're dating? Uh, 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 today, January 2nd, hey. I turned 45. Yeah. How does that feel? feels like 46. Did you ever think when, when you turned 40 that you would one day be in a room with these imbeciles <laughs> doing a podcast? I think I wished it. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, uh, um, woof. no, it's nice. You know, it's the birthday everyone kind of forgets because it's January 2nd. It's uh, yeah. a lot of, you know, my whole life uh, birthday gifts came from Jean Coutu because it was the only thing that was open. So it was all right. I'm really happy to be here. You sound, so uh, you sound a little bit like your friend Adam there. Ungrateful. No, I'm yeah. very grateful. Sounds Absolutely like you've been grateful. exploited. Hey! No, uh, <laughs> My family's yeah. exploiting me, man. Um, <laughs> um, what do you mean they're exploiting you? They're getting me gifts from the pharmacy. No, I, I uh, the only people who feel my pain are uh, Tia Carrere uh, from Wayne's World and Cuba Gooding Jr. and Ty Diggs. Uh, they all have my birthday as well. I'm kidding. All right. All right what's your half? Yeah. All right. This one was not bad, actually. I, I didn't mind. It I'm made not, us talk. Not, made us not talk. Bad. Yeah. And the half. The United Nations sends peace-loving people to end the Ukraine war. What the fuck does that even mean? Uh, Well, I guess you would like me to share some comments. You came up with that? <laughs> yes. Yeah, what does that mean, peace-loving people? What the fuck are you talking about? Well... Okay, do you guys remember what happened in the 1960s, how private people in the USA were trying to protest against, I think it was the Vietnam War? Yeah. Well, along those lines, you know, like we're fed up, we're tired. So you think the UN is going to send protesters to the Ukraine and that's going to solve what? We're supposed to be a comedy show, right? I mean, I, I know that the chances are not very high, but it would be nice, okay? <laughs> I know it would be nice. I don't think it would be nice. I don't think you're thinking of it. The protesters would be protesting elsewhere, you think they're going to protest in the Ukraine, stop bombing us, and, and Vladimir Putin's going to be like, oh, fuck, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> okay, fine. I, 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 there I, will be a whole bunch of protests in many parts of the world, including Ukraine. The reason okay. why I like this half is because it was... Uh, Retarded. Because <laughs> uh, 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 it said... It was so absurd. Because there's nothing sense. peaceful about the UN. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's why I liked it. Yeah. I like I like that it was sarcastic, and he didn't even know it was sarcastic. When I didn't he said know that. Maybe that is he's not sure what know, that's, like why, that's why I like the half so much. You can't get so, any more un than the UN. There you go. The the he said undone. something so sarcastic and so good that it was poignant. That it, and it was poignant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he doesn't. He didn't even say that sarcasm. You're a comedy genius mm -hmm. by accident. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, you are, Adam. Yes. He's, I, as soon as he said that, like a light went out. Oh well, my god, that's actually I'm gonna bad. I'm gonna get you to write jokes for me and I won't pay you. That's okay, I got, yeah. I, got a, I got a point of view which you may already may, have. I got a point of view which may or may not make sense. It I'm not an sense. expert on the UN here, okay? I'm not. We thought you were. <laughs> I thought the United Nations also had peacekeeping missions. On paper. <laughs> Peacekeeping missions. The United Nations, I'm going to make this as clear, has peacekeeping missions just like you have a girlfriend online. <laughs> Except they have access to billions of dollars and I don't. Adam, you really give benefit of the doubt. You're Thank very God naive. you don't. You're, you're, Adam, you really, you really are a supporter of truth and integrity. You really are. And God bless you for it. Okay. I'll tell you, I've actually done some learning not too long ago. No, you haven't. <laughs> Do you guys remember the Gulf War in 1991? Of course, it was my favorite war. Okay. It, it war. is a well-known yeah. fact that Any war that you could take a break to just Gulf. <laughs> is, is, That's clever. It's that a, a good, good, a good war. It's a, a good war. But putting all jokes yeah, aside... You, there, like it. you know what the Gulf War was? It was Hold on, I'm putting all jokes aside. Yeah. I thought this was a comedy yeah. show, Adam. The, yeah. Gulf, yeah. Yeah. the Gulf War is what they called the divorce with Tiger Woods and his wife. That's what they called the Gulf War. There we go. There we go. 
I do understand that governments, the lawmakers themselves, have broken their own rules. I understand that. It happens every day. Rarely. But I was under the impression at the same time that they are supposed to be the good Samaritans in the world to make sure that they, they do the best they can to as, eliminate unfairness. As long as you believe it. You naive whore. I this wish is, it was like that, Adam. Okay. You're talking about a dream world. Can I tell you something? This is everyone. Go ahead. Go ahead. I wish the world was like that because I've made the same naive mistakes. But the reason why it's not is because of people like you. Because sadly, you are not a minority. You're a majority. In what context? Uh, in, in, the, in a lot of people in, think in the like you. Naive, oh, imbecile oh, context. Na naivete. Yeah, naivete. So the government and all these people in charge, they take advantage of you. Because <coughs> they realize that you're just going to buy it. They're going to tell you, yeah, give us uh, your, your money. It's going to go to help the people of the Ukraine. And you're like, that's amazing. I want to help the people of Ukraine. And then when they go, only 20% of the money you gave us and weapons actually got there. What happened to the rest? Don't ask questions. Questions are for conspiracy theorists. We're on the good team. Yeah. All right. Well, I know we're kind of deviating a little bit, but no, we're not. why does the public not do something to expose these kinds of organizations? What are you going to do? We try our best. We make videos. They say that it's conspiracy theories. <laughs> oh, we they're, they're we talk about the news. Getting scammed. Yeah. How about this? Okay, I got a really hot subject. <laughs> that was really good. I'm sure everybody in this room is well aware of the fact that in the background on this on that September 11th terrorist bombing there, oh uh, everybody knew that it was that, orchestrated. Right? Everybody knew it was planned way in advance. Everybody knew the U.S. looked the other way. They knew it was coming, right? Okay. <coughs> And is there anything that, quote-unquote, the public can do to expose I, I, the people? I didn't agree with what you just Ignore said. Ignore it and uh, try to live a happy life because you're never going to win. Right. Because too many people are stupid. Listen to this. I was in downtown Montreal, I think, on Crescent Street, and I was approached by somebody that says... Al-Qaeda? We are... No. We, are, we would like you to be part of a group that wants to expose the truth. I never did, but... Yeah, that sounds like a bunch of retards getting yeah. together. Mm. <sighs> So I have Adam, no Adam, opinion. Adam, I would just Adam, curious Adam, what the other Adam, Adam, is. Let me tell you something. Yes. You knowing, you've lived with, how long have you known yourself? <laughs> <laughs> he, he found out how about himself last month. When I started developing senses? Yeah, how, 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 how long have you known yourself? In years. Tell me how many years you've known yourself. At least three. Since the age of 12? I don't know. Okay, so 32? 57 years. 32. Now, in the whole time that you've known yourself, <laughs> yes. are you the type of person that you would approach randomly in the street and be like, this guy's got his shit together? Sir, I need your help to expose the truth. Looking at you, are you the go-to guy to Maybe expose the Maybe they truth? didn't care. They were just looking for people on the street. That you're not answering random. the question. You, knowing you, if you would see you walking down the street, would you be like, oh. that's the guy who's got his shit together who's going to help me expose the truth? That's not a fair way of looking at it. Yes, it's not it easy it's a to get a fair person way. to look Why at themselves. That? It's, it's it, a lot easier to say, that guy that you just saw on the street, what do you think? But you get Well, I'll tell you what I think. I'd be like, that is the furthest away from the guy that's going to save the world as we can get. Um, <laughs> There's a difference between the guy on the street approaching me and me approaching myself. Does that make sense? Oh, go fuck yourself, bro. That's not what he meant, you fucking idiot. How do you I'm approach sorry, yourself? I'm sorry. That well, came out. Look, that was mean. That was actually mean. Do you tap yourself on the shoulder and say, hey, I got something for you? Is that what you do? <laughs> you uh, okay, let me try and understand what motherfucker Patel said. If I approach myself and said, can I. I'm not the kind of person to do that. But why are we mixing me into someone else's mind frame? I don't understand. What the fuck did you just say, <laughs> motherfucker? If, if I approached myself and said, but I'm not the type of person to hold do on. that. That's what he what just said. What he's trying to say, hold on, let me try and speak a little more retard here. Because even my retard's not that fluent. <laughs> what he's trying to say, if you were able to see yourself from a third point of view, if you were able to come outside of your body. I know what you mean. Then well, Evidently, you don't. It took some time, but now I understand, yeah. Okay. So I'm saying is knowing sentence. all the stuff you know about you, would yes. you seeing you in the street would be like, that's the guy that has his shit together. He's going to help me save the world. I don't think about that. I'm just, I'm just relaying facts to you. You're, you're looking at it deeper than you should. Okay. So you're, <laughs> you're approachable. No, actually he isn't. I'm over. I'm actually looking at it simpler. I'm, you're asking me, what do I think about that guy approaching you? I'm giving you a reason as to why I think it's stupid. Because knowing you, okay, mm -hmm. knowing you, and even if I didn't know you, just seeing you in the street, you don't look like the type of guy that if I have my shit together, I'm going to need you to help me get shit done. Mm. The only What's people the that would approach you, you saying that? that you don't have your shit together. Adam, in all, in all fairness, in all <laughs> fairness to Hold the on. people approaching him, please take the dartboard off your back. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. W what makes me think you don't have your shit together? Let's see. Um, mm. the, the, Forget the scams. There's more. Well, the scam, the guy who kicked you out of your apartment so you could live in another apartment so you could put someone else in your old in apartment. In the boiler room. Yeah, in the boiler room. Uh, the nefarious stuff that you get fired from jobs that you shouldn't get fired from. 
uh, you receiving faxes in 2023. Call, it, call in sick. He emailed in sick. Yeah. yeah. Like there's, there's a, there's, it's a conglomerate. Okay, I get it. It's yeah. A, it's a, yeah. Um, All right. God damn it. Well, we kind of deviated a little bit. So at the end of no, the day, haven't. at the end of the day, we can we can engage in all these lectures about politics. But the bottom line is, what the government says they do, or what these organizations say they do, and what they really do do, are two different things. Yes. Just like okay. you. The best way, the best way to live You're right the government. now. Uh, people want to make a difference, but they don't. They go on Twitter and they bitch about it. You can't really make a difference until a huge portion of the population is actually awake. Sadly, right now, most people are asleep. So what you have to do is try to live the best life you can. So try to be happy. Take care of your friends and family. Try to stay safe. Yeah. It's the best you could do because yeah. you, you're you not going to save the world. You're going to turn into a conspiracy theorist. You're going to get trapped in a basement yelling. There's no victory right now. So just try to be cool. But well said. What, what he's trying to say is, uh, have you ever spoken to a large group of people with a microphone, but the microphone doesn't work? What's the point of talking? They're not listening. That's kind of what would happen so right that's, now. Yeah. That's just what would happen right the, now. The is lesson here is... Oh. The, yeah, so you might as well just worry about yourself and your family, because even if you were trying to make a difference right now, nobody's listening. Also, I want to take this a step further. Sorry I don't think you up. should be in charge of leading the resistance, right. Right. Wanna, because all it's going to take is one savvy Bangladeshi man <laughs> to wipe out all our funds. Let We're me, going to a let, wedding uh, in August, guys. Let me take this a step further. So mm -hmm. I don't think anybody in this room has We've any intention of being enough. mean, but all these quasi-attempts to go for the truth. Quasi-moto? it, right? Like, it's, it's just not worth even heeding what these people say. It was a long time ago. I just brought it up as a matter of principle. No, no, if so, there I are am... people that want to do their own private investigations. Do go ahead and do it. No one's stopping. It's a free country. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, what you're obviously coercing me to think, or the way you're coercing me to think, is that they don't do much. I'm not coercing you, dickhead. I'm saying don't, you're going to fall into a rabbit hole of conspiracy theories and all it's going to do is make you upset and anxious and you're not going to change anything. Might as well so, spend your time getting taken advantage of yeah, by be people. Happy. Yeah. yeah, Don't waste your time Just there. Be happy. At least you could spend money. Don't worry. Be Look, happy. Uh, uh, on a lighter note, Adam, uh, I, I wrote a half-half. My wish for Adam for 2023 is that somehow, or we send him, like we got to send him on a date. I'm down. Uh, we have to really, really, you know, I wrote like sending him to a TV show. If and then there that are book, any fans out there, seriously, women seriously. fans, that would like to go on one date to it's see on, if Adam it's is on worth us. it. Every single one everything of us. Everything is we'll, on we'll, us. We'll, it's going to we'll, be at a nice we'll restaurant. We'll set you up in a nice restaurant. We'll pay for everything. Adam is a gentleman. You Adam, have to know how to, you know Adam. Adam you're a fan, right? Adam is polite. Yeah. Adam is not a groper. Yeah. Adam washes. Adam will dress yeah. nice. Uh, it will be a fun conversation at the very least. And it'll be a great meal. So let us know if any of you ladies, but you must be of age. Adam does not date young girls. Uh, Adam, what's your limit? 52, 42? What's your... I can't believe we're talking about... No, what's because if limit? you remember, Adam declined the last offer we did this yeah, yeah. because he didn't want to cheat on his girlfriend. The, the dude, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, now he found out that that was not a girl. So now... Hopefully, found that out. He's unhappy. Uh, he's unhappy. So maybe he didn't find that out Adam, yet. Adam, we're sending you on a date. We're as sending soon. you on a date. DM. What is it? Uh, and we're filming it. To, uh, send no, 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 a, no, we're not going to film it. Send no, a, oh, okay. an official. You know, at uh, Tony at. Um, no, just what? put in the Discord. Uh, in the on Discord. Under intellectuals. But what if they're not Discord? Yeah, uh, well, yeah. Send an email. Tony at at. Uh, send it to Tony. Yeah, send Tony at pantelliscomedy.com. There we go. Yeah. Tony at pantelliscomedy.com. If you have a sister, an aunt, no, a cousin, no, 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 no. it has to be the person or the that person, wants to yeah. date. We're, we're not going to scam anyone. It 25, be, 25 to 45. Honestly, as far as we can go, 25 to 55. We'll yeah, go 25 to 55. We'll go 300 miles radius. Yeah. We can go whoa, to Toronto whoa, 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 and we'll go to New York if we have to. We're not going to Toronto. All right, so it's going to happen in Montreal. Where we can go to Laval, <laughs> the South Shore, yeah. Longue, the greater Montreal region yes. will come to. Okay, okay, we'll do that. Adam, yeah. see, you're going on a date. See how excited you, you are? You guys are nuts. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. You're nuts. Is, you're nuts. It's going to be great. Yeah, you're going to meet a really but nice woman. Yeah. Yeah. And if you guys are really hitting it off and you want, we'll also pay for the hotel. Correct. Hey, where'd my uh, thingamajig go? My list. Um, okay, guys, oh, let, me, let me please bring up something really serious, yes. okay? I didn't I want to bring up the show. subject of, yes, but it doesn't matter. Oh. You guys, let's just say, quote, unquote, dragged out of me something that's going on in legal terms with me. Yes. And that wasn't appropriate, I find. I'm sorry. What would what, what we do? What do we drag out? I don't, I don't see a need to repeat it. You know. I don't think I do. We don't mention that he referred me to somebody for a certain service because, I'm gonna be in, because I was in trouble with someone. You yes. Know? What is he talking about? How would we beat it out of you if we didn't know? With the service of meeting a girl? <laughs> 
I honestly, his, his brain imploded. Did you see that? Did you see that? What do you mean? That was astonishing. Yeah. That was amazing. I, I missed it. I was looking. Did you catch that? It was on him. Holy I'm, shit! I'm gonna rewind it. I, that was amazing. You're so, welcome. Oh my god! You saw, oh my god! You physically saw. I stand corrected. <laughs> you physically saw. That it. was amazing. Okay. okay. Yeah. You lost so your computer. Adam, uh, I know. If, uh, <laughs> we know. I'm That's sorry if uh, I did the only something way we could have dragged something out of you, like as it, is if we did, if we knew. Okay. Yeah. But if we didn't know, know, we know. violent means. You used to, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's what happened because I know what you're talking about. Yes. I remember very well. Okay. We didn't know about any of this shit. Hold on. You started hinting to some stuff. You yeah. started bringing some okay. stuff. Up. Hold on. <laughs> you started bringing some stuff up, and then naturally, we got curious. Yeah. Because holy. That wasn't right. Holy. What do you mean that wasn't <laughs> it, it, right? It was wrong to be uh, curious. curious. Hold, on. Uh, Hold on. You brought it up. Yeah, you're the one who's wrong, not us. You can't. You. It's like oh. telling someone, look, uh, I don't want you to be offended, and then just drop in the N word. They can't control whether they're offended or not. Okay, hold on. Me? Let's see if I. Let's see if you guys might be slightly wrong here. What the fuck are you showing me? Is it you possible? You wanted your paper. You lost. That oh, you guys were oh, no, talking about criminality and the police and all that stuff, and then. But I you're the one that brought it up. Yeah. How would I, we know if you didn't bring it up, dickhead? I don't. I'm not a mind reader. We don't know about any of this, bro. And I'm not even sure. Is he talking about the Langai stuff? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yes. yeah. I didn't even know he brought that up. You're he the did. one that brought this up. Okay. I'll tell you what. Oh, I think you weren't there for that episode. I was. I I listened to it. I'm hoping this is not unfair for me to look at it this way. You bring up something in passing, you talk about it for 20 seconds. And then you were talking about the lawyer and what his role. And then you guys dug deeper. That's what I found was in Yeah, because you brought it up. Yeah, and we're, we're trying to provide a helper. That's not how that works. Adam, that's how conversations work. You bring something up and then we dissect it and we talk about it. That's how conversations work. Just like right now, we're having a conversation. That's how they work. We're not exploiting you. You know, because I remember oh, what conversations are not internet memes. It's not an image and then another image. That's how retarded people speak. Adults have conversations. They talk about, oh, really? Your feelings are hurt? They don't move on. They're like, why are your feelings hurt? Oh, what happened? When That's how conversation. No one's like, uh, I got hit by, uh, by a car. You're like, that's mm-hmm. great. I like yogurt. That's how retards speak. Yeah. Um, Adam, uh, you anyway, brought something up that was absurd. So we dug deep and asked. So we so dug, yeah, that's that, what any adult would have done. A natural curiosity. Yeah. So now wait, and you, you didn't even so, have to okay, bring so it up. I'm in the wrong by not having said that's my. You're not in business. the wrong at all. You're not hold even on, in the. Hold on, hold on. You're not in the wrong. At the end of the day, there's information I did not want disseminated. It's already disseminated. Yeah, but you brought it up, and you're like. Um, anyways, I don't want to get into this and then proceeded to get into it. <laughs> uh, uh, it's like this, Adam. You just said this. You said this. Hey, my parents are getting divorced, but I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that's you what did. You, that's what you and just did. And then you're like, they're getting divorced because my dad was fucking yeah. a whore. Like, but I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, that's what you kept doing. You're you, you a celebrity who posed for Playboy. She goes on David Letterman and her publicist says, make sure you don't ask her about Playboy. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> And so what happened is you. It wasn't that there was information that was disseminated. It's our ears were inseminated uh, by your stories. Is the thing that happened. And we love your stories. We love the life that you lead. Fine. We, have, we have no problem with Let's it. Let's see if it's we can moments recap, like these. It's point. moments like these where sometimes I go, ah, fuck, I get you, bro. Okay. I you never see, thought I was going to look at you, it this you way. Because you pull similar, people pull similar shit, and you have too. Uh, I got man. a very But I do it for a comedic story. effect on... But, 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 I'm just saying, I like that. I, I like that you just, what you just said. Because it's very hard for me to describe what I go through. But so now you guys are seeing it I on pull, micro. Hold on, I pull, this, I pull this kind of shit on 2DM, but I know the game I'm playing. I, you know what I mean? I, that's different. I think that secretly he's a lot more calculating. Who? Him. Because you know what we're doing now? What? We are talking about his Langai thing, right? And his Again, bringing yeah. up private stuff. But that was his secret segue to segue away from why he has to go out on a date with a woman. No, no, no. no. He has to go out on a woman because he likes women. That's why he's going on a date with a woman. It's a stretch. I get but what you're trying to do. do. You see what I go he doesn't want to talk about I get it. who fucked him. Over. I get it. I get it. I had. I had a. Uh, you had an epiphany. I had a. Fuck Today, okay, guys, let me make I'm a point. I'm very sorry for one thing. Even though I love busting Poseidon's balls, because <laughs> of because of me, he had like two or three epiphanies today, and he doesn't like the person that he's looking like because he's looking in a in a in a bald mirror, and it's bothering him? <laughs> well, no, 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 hold on. The only thing that I, I, I don't like looking at the bald mirror is is, <laughs> is the fact that I could have lost weight and made 5Gs. That's the only... But, the like, the shit, that shit... Because I do that shit on purpose. The, like, the shit he's pulling now and he's serious, I do that shit to piss you off because I know you. 
That's different. I think he's doing I, it on purpose. Though. I pull that shit. No, no, no. He's not doing it on purpose. He, he, no, no, no. He's doing it on, nah. Okay, let me ask a quick key question. Well, actually, I was gonna, I was gonna bring that up in conjunction with the following fact. This is not my story. It's a well-known. It's a story I heard about what happens on YouTube. There are people that used to work for the Italian mafia. Let's say they go away for ten years, fifteen years. No joke, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they go on, you know, they go on YouTube and they get interviewed and whatever, whatever. Yeah. And so I heard a case, or there are cases where the the internet is used as the medium. To get people to say stuff that they don't want to say, but they get paid by the hosts. You know what I mean? So you're saying that uh, Frank Pentangeli uh, lied, uh, uh, just went, went to video. the internet. Hey, you know, I have champagne cocktails here. Yeah, let me find a guy. Bro, here. A That's hilarious. Well, bro, you just you pulled. Laugh, hold on, but you just pulled. By the way, I'm on good terms with my brother again. Oh, good. nice. I'm very happy. Yeah, but you just pulled what my brother pulled about almost a year ago. By the way. Oh yeah, that's. <gasps> you just pulled. What my brother pulled almost a not year the ago. exact same thing, not but the very, exact same very thing? close. Oh, yeah, very yeah. similar. Like it's on a parallel yeah, and a very parallel. close but parallel. But I didn't finish. Okay, but but let me finish. So, so I'm. I wonder how within my rights I would be to say that this is a little bit like what's going on on those talk shows, right? Uh, it's not because you're, you just described. Hold on a second. I'm gonna stop you from right now because you're. He, he, I need you to understand something. Go ahead. Uh, you you're not gonna outsmart anyone here. Number one. Number two. You just. You literally just said. Yes. I heard these mobsters. <laughs> They go on shows and they get paid to say X, Y thing, right? As if it's not true. No one here told you, please, sir, lie about yourself so that you can get in trouble. No one said anything like that. You told us a story, an actual story that happened to you. That is two different things than what you just described about the mobsters. But for some reason, you're trying to group them in together as if you're talking to kindergartners you who are going to know what's going on. Adam. Yeah. No one put words in your mouth. No one said, Adam, say this. No one ever said that. You divulged the crimes that you were accused of, by the way. We don't even say committed because none of us believe that you committed a crime. Right. Uh, we've gone on the record multiple times saying this. Mm -hmm. um, but for some reason now, you're, you're acting crazy and you're, and you're making it seem as if we fabricated a story about you and then made you go along with it. Is that what happened? I'd like to give it my own spin of events, Okay. <laughs> But that's, that's not a, how that's that's a, a I'll make that's the parallel with the internet. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> that's not how that works. Listen, I, I wasn't clear. Maybe I'll I'll, Look, I'll shift the words around. No, with no, the no. Internet you can't, there's no shifting. Look, you're talking. You you know the the they term. You can't con the con man. Stay and they don't you're go speaking on the to air a con anymore. man, my friend. You can't con the con man. <laughs> yeah, no, but you can go on the air whenever you want. No one's stopping you. We want you to be on the air. Did we force you to come here? I didn't say you did. Well, there you go. But it was the environment whereby, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to figure on, out how a mafia hold on, guy. Hold and on. you are. You're entertaining. Okay. And the yeah. most entertaining <laughs> thing is authenticity. Yeah. Yeah. The reason yeah. why you're entertaining, Adam, is because even though you have shortcomings, okay? Much like myself, that's why I works on comedy. All the stupid shit I do, instead of me going on stage and being like, I, don't know, I never, bad stuff doesn't happen to me. My my whole hour is, look at all the dumb shit <clears throat> me and my friends do. That's my, my entire hour is, look at how retarded yeah. we are. That's it's authenticity. It's just, the reason why people like you is because you're not there hiding. You're there saying, "Look, uh, I get scammed. I believed in oh, this. Well, uh, I, I went hit next." Time. You're I, truthful. I you're you're not full in, of in, shit. In long, because you're not full of shit. That's why people. <laughs> if you were on here being like, "I have never been scammed," and I can't believe people yeah. get scammed and all that, then people I'd be a liar. Be, yeah, and people could see through it. Right. But the fact that you're just being you and you're like, "Look, this mistake happened. Let's yeah. laugh about it." That's what people like about it. And you're still justifying. The stupidity. And you're still justifying the stupidity. That's what people like about it. Like, because okay, that's really it. what he feels. Same thing with the long guy. The reason why the fans understand that you did not commit a crime and that you were coerced is because. Because you're telling the story and you're being honest. So they're like, okay, we can see where he got fucked over. We can see it. If you were lying, they'd be like, maybe this guy is a fucking scumbag and he plotted his whole thing. But you weren't, so they get it. But somehow mafia people on YouTube are telling stories to somehow fuck him up. No, they don't, they don't fuck him up. I, mafia people right now go on, on, on YouTube, people that are out of the mob, and they talk about actual things that happen. He's, he's talking about uh, the, the bull. He's yeah, talking the about the bull. Or, or, or what Michael Francis. Michael Michael Francis. Francis. Yeah. Yes, the Michael bull, Francis. The I, bull. I watched it today. I was, watching, I was actually King. watching Francis today. I love Tulsa King. Tulsa King so yeah. Francis, for example, he's not making stuff up. No he's one's forcing authentic. him to make it. It's his own channel. Yeah. He's talking about his own stories. So the thing that you described about he people are forcing him is complete nonsense. It's his own fucking channel. He's just telling stories. And he's 75 well, and he's talking about things that happened that either right. the, uh, the statute no of limitations is statute of limitations has passed, passed opinion, or yeah. the people are dead or yeah. the people are in jail already. Or all of the above. <laughs> now, if you Hold were on, watch, how are you in jail dead? 
at the, at the same time. Limitation. Wow, there's people that had like 20 life sentences yeah. and they didn't last that. But no, what I'm saying is if you were to go to a YouTube channel and watch people who have a call center scam going and you watch them be truthful, then that's, that's yeah, you're seeing people have you seen being that That's, that's entertaining though. Yeah. Oh, he obviously has it. I'll tell you what, guys. Let's see. Tell me let's what, see yeah. if we can all be on the same page with this following remark. Yes, Guaranteed, Pedro. no. I was not aware of the fact that it's. People I might say it's kind of implied as a form of entertainment that I tell people a little bit about what I did. So you guys are not blamed at the end of the day, right? Thank you. I <laughs> want to be blamed. Uh, the thing is, I want to be blamed, but uh, what we're saying is you did nothing wrong. Okay, let me tell me if this following statement makes sense. When you react to me telling you about a certain criminal act, you're saying, are you nuts? That yeah. kind of made me want to go into further detail. Which I, is amazing. That's yes. how conversations work. Yeah. You right. had me. You, you uh, Basically, you had me. the epiphany. This, we, here's we what happened. We're that, pumping you. Yeah, Does that so, mean so, epiphany? I forgot what okay, that means. You realize something. So, for example, that means that you had me. You fished, basically. You mm -hmm. fished. You saw the story that got me to react. I'm a big whale. Mm -hmm. I have taken a nibble of your um, uh, story? bait. Right. Right. But your story was the bait. You saw that it was working, so you were pulling me in. That's how conversation works. Like, oh, he's liking this. I'm going to continue this route. He's entertained. I'm entertained. I'm telling my story. And can, we're I, fun. can I recreate what happened? Like sure. at the casino. If they see Adam, this guy spending a lot of money... Give him free dinners because he's going to keep spending. Yeah, you, you gave me free dinners. You have a fishing pole. You did this basically. I think at the end of the day, this is just a question of logic, right? Well, there's you're nothing seeing logical it in about one this show. way. I'm seeing it more there's in the not, sense that. There's listen, nothing, hold on. There's nothing logical about this program at all. <laughs> Okay. Not, not, there's no logic walked out of this door <laughs> at episode three, I think. I think I even before poorly. episode one. Oh, uh, you, you just reminded me because the year came to an end. Yeah. I watched episode one of The Intellectuals yesterday. How bad was it? No, I giggled at the under Sange. That was fast. That was I episode one? Her. Episode one was under Sange. No way. Yeah. I forgot Great. about that. <laughs> under Sange. I love that there. sound. Remember under Sange? That was oh my, my God, first that was gag. episode one? Episode one. Oh. We're at episode 99. 100 almost. No, 99. 99. 99. This is Wayne Gretzky episode. 69. Yeah. So this is this is what happened. So I want in this episode you guys to get rid of all your tension that you have right now. Yeah, all this oh, there's shit, no tension. Because yeah. 100 is going to be off the rails. Yeah. Oh, shit. No, but there's no tension. So uh, basically, Adam, what you did with that with that uh, topic yes. of you uh, and your criminal activity yeah. in uh, the underworld. Adam, are you uh, aware that people actually know you and like you? I had an idea, but you know what? I saw. Listen, I'm gonna tell you this right now. If I you saw were some not of the comments, and some people are not, they kind of question who the hell I am. I, but whatever. I just saw some but, of the comments. But you're always gonna have those people. First of all, of course, they're gonna question who you are. You're not in the comedy realm, and you've been thrown into the universe of mm. the uh, new underscore lobby. So the first question they're gonna have is that, right? that's it. You're your gang, yeah. Hey. So see how you put two and two together yeah. there. So what the first thing they're gonna say if they don't know you, they've never seen you do stand up, they've never seen you on any other show. They're gonna be like, who the fuck is this guy? That's a normal question. Now moving past that, they learn about you through every episode. Are you alright, Pasad? Adam doing stand up. He will. He should. Okay. I've learned now that you do not respect the art form of stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fine. It's fine. Adam I, I, talking I, to a no, crowd for a I while. I do respect uh, it. No, Adam talking I to do. a crowd. How about that? I don't you don't respect the form of stand-up. So wait, continue, Pantelis. So yeah. am I aware of the fact that there are people like me? Well, yeah. I had an idea, but since you're telling me directly, then I have a more clearer idea. Well, obviously people like you. Why else would you be here? We wouldn't have yeah. you on if you weren't entertaining. If we didn't like you, we wouldn't have you. Yeah, so already you know that we like you. You could be neutral. You don't like if me, I you don't dislike me? Uh, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> okay. I, I wouldn't be uh, fucking recording these episodes, editing mm -hmm. them, putting them out if I didn't fucking like you. Right. This is the a very, uh, personally, it's one of my favorite shows. I love the intellectuals. Yeah. You guys are three retards, but, <laughs> but, but, but you're not retarded in that you can't live in society. But we're popular you, retards. No, 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 no place I'd rather be on my birthday, you, yeah, let me you, tell you. You guys are retarded in the fact that you each bring a unique perspective of the world to people watching. So the way Poseidon lives, okay, the way he thinks, the way he gets around all that, the majority of people when they watch are like, I never thought of, like, I, I, I would never think that. If he would never tell them his life experiences, they would never even fathom mm. that thought process. That's what makes him interesting. Same thing with Guido. Guido will say he'll do mm. something and they'll be like, I couldn't make this shit up. If it didn't happen to him, if I, I would have never, same thing with you, the, the scamming stuff, the, the stuff about your dad's uh, empire, all that stuff that you fucked up. No one could have created that. If it hadn't happened to you, you didn't bring it up, they would have never been taken into that world. Mm -hmm. So you bring a unique perspective. It's called value. And that's, way. that's well, value. That's why they like but you. But it's also because normal people aren't necessarily as, what's the word, eccentric as all three of us. 
the, we're, the, yeah, we're the, mental I patients see. compared yeah, to normal people. The like reality I've, is, I've, I've been, I've gone through crazy shit that other people. He's would, a legitimate mental patient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I honestly so wish. And, and so I honestly wish, like, I look at some people's lives and I see how normal it is, and I yeah. go, "Fuck! I wish my life was that normal." Yeah, yeah. you know what I, I mean. I got a million dollar question to ask you guys. It's just got a very high. Value. I don't have any money. How do you? Gauge or what criteria do you use to determine if a said person is a mental patient or not? If they point at you and say you're fucking crazy. Well, I'll tell you right now. Uh, <laughs> one of the people in this room was put on heavy medication as and yeah. was forced to undergo psychiatric yeah. help many times. He was locked in the loony bin. That might be a, a little heard. sign, Adam. That might that be a might sign. Be a yeah. But the other two maybe, seem pretty maybe. normal. We're not sure though. We're not the other two seem pretty normal. You're still married to twelve guys. Yeah, so you you are not normal. I'll tell you that. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about the you, people. You're a high. F you're a low functioning autiste. Yeah. Uh, me and Poseidon have all kinds of mental problems. Yeah. Uh, just that we're f we function in society. We're yeah. able to. Uh, we learn to, to suppress them so as to not they don't get in the way. Yeah, I don't suppress them. That's they get in the way a lot. Uh, but. That's what people like well, me for. To be honest, actually, they get in the way a lot for me, too. I mean, like, I'm talking about, like, in a normal job, I mean. Yeah. Like, in a normal job, I will suppress a lot of my mental retardation in order to do the task, get paid yeah. so I can pay rent and live a Have you ever somewhat normal life. <laughs> wait, wait. And Adam trying to defend, like, uh, you know, authority, defend um, uh, uh, laws and, and defend, uh, you know, uh, the right to do things. But at the same conversation saying, can we uh, go give a beating to the guy that owes me money? Yeah, that's <laughs> fine. I would never do that. What was yeah, your what question? You you, that was we have uh, three episodes. You asked us to beat the shit out of this guy. Yeah. Yeah. At the same time, you were valuing uh, authority He forgets his own stuff. That was yeah. great. That's normal. That happens to the best of us, Adam. It's okay. Adam he incriminates himself and then yeah. blames us. Yeah. Oh, shite. <laughs> you know what? No, I'm sorry. Not the best of us. It happens to the most retarded of us. Yeah. It's okay. It's normal. Adam. What was your question to me? Oh, I said, in Guido's case, we, you know, the truth is, has been made clear. Is there any evidence from a specialist that kind of indicates what you just said? That for, him, for him, yeah. For, for him or you, for you, you or for him? Well, for me, that I'm a mental patient? Oh, his life. Oh, he wanted to, dude, his track record. You have record. to go listen to all the podcasts. Uh -huh. it's, I, guess, I guess what he's it's saying. It's clear. He, he wants a doctor's certificate so his to say you're right. Yeah, no, you don't need a doctor's it's certificate. It's my way of being polite. You don't no, no, his it track no, no. record. I'll give an example. Anyone watching this understands that clearly you're on some kind of spectrum. They get it, right? Yeah. We, it's me some, or Poseidon? All of you. You especially. However. You went beyond the spectrum. Here's what I want you to understand, Adam. Adam, this is what I want you to understand. <laughs> Go ahead. Before Guido came back into your life, yeah, okay, you were a weirdo. Yeah, okay, you were mental and you were alone. But you're no longer alone. Now you have a whole gang of fucking mental Fellow patients mental with you. mental people. <laughs> yeah, so you're no longer alone. Now you're yeah. living life with two other mental retarded people. Not yeah. three? Uh, well, just these two. These two. Plus, right. actually, you do have a third one, Claudio Capri, another one of your gang members. Okay. Uh, so you're all in the same street gang. And then on top of that, you have unrelenting fans. Who are there oh. to guide you through the dark, retarded times that you're going to live. And the reason you might feel uncomfortable is that we're not exploiting you. I might feel uncomfortable because you're not the other way around, no? No, because you normally you're, you like to get exploited. No, no, you like to get exploited, Adam. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're actually treating so you fairly. Or he is. Agree. If we we're actually, treating you fairly. No, no, if we actually took yeah. advantage of you, yeah. you would be like, oh, yeah, let's go, yeah, let's yeah. go. We would be making sure I will give sure you, you my paycheck, of course, of but course. But we're looking out for you. We would and you're be like, forcing shit out of you. We you're would be forcing me. stories out of you. I'd have my finger up your ass right now. What? Okay, what? I get it. I get it. <laughs> I'd be in, in a your very ass. polite and what? courteous way, I'll say it this way. Wise people like like Pantelis, for example, she, okay. are pointing out to me <laughs> stuff That's that hilarious. they would not get involved with that I did get involved with. Fair Only enough? in a room full of mental patients can I be called the wise person. <laughs> well, He's the voice of reason here. Okay, let me say one other thing. I am the straight man on this show. That's true, yeah. yeah. I remember, and I was thinking about this. Yes, you brought up the guy who owes me $7,000. I remember you very clearly telling me, my sister, anybody else, eight. they don't give a shit. I'm the one that has to go down for an act that I committed with him. Well, the idea of going into a business with a huge like it's called you it's had sex no. with him. And I say that you're wise. <laughs> what he told that you was <laughs> take take <laughs> the hit. I told you take the hit and you and move on. And then you you, you worded it that way. He said just take the loss and chow. Take yeah. the L, big boy. You'll yeah. have many more opportunities to yeah. make monies. Yeah, you'll be fine, Adam. Yeah. Just uh, try to grow some hair. But you know what makes me proud no, about I'm being kidding, a bit man. of a fucking lunatic okay. is that <laughs> no successful person is not crazy. Every successful person is crazy, but also every very unsuccessful person is crazy, which is a fine line. What's the so it gives me hope for myself. 90% of people must be crazy. No. Yeah, I think everyone's crazy, but different levels. Like, they all have their own kind of crazies. 
Mm. Like? I don't know. Germaphobes, <coughs> crazy. But they're a different type of crazy. Yeah, but that's... Tourette syndrome. Kind of like what I have, you know, just say shit that's well, in your head. No. Correct, um, me, um, correct me if I'm wrong. Male pattern baldness. Yeah, go on. I was going to say that anybody <laughs> can see a psychologist or a therapist to determine if No, they are because of that then type this or not. isn't fun anymore for people. This is your therapy. No, no, I'm, you're saying that 98% of people. Oh. So you're going to say that every 98 out of 100 people has some have some disorder or disease? That's I bet a lot you of in, this, in this universe, yeah. I bet the way you, we're living now, uh, post pandemic, guaranteed. Well, yeah, America does have a big mental illness. I actually. bet you, you ask a hundred people, do you consider yourself normal or a little crazy? Ninety-eight percent of them will answer a little crazy, and the ones even if they're normal, and the ones, okay. the ones that do are answer, the I think I'm normal, are the worst. Those are the ones you got to watch mm -hmm. out for. Yeah, what the fuck is normal? Yeah, what is normal? Isn't there a way you study a person's behavior? Punch them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't want to play Speaking of uh, normal an and crazy Something crazy uh, Happened to me Bro, people don't know etiquette Like uh, body odor okay. uh -oh. Holy like Where I, were you? Bro, I went to Winners And I went to go try on some clothes Like a loser okay. <laughs> <laughs> Winners, Marshalls uh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Dude, the smell That this man had where well, was why he? were you in the same Wait, were you in the same no, 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 I, I feel I like you're the one who fucked no, no, up. Why were you so, the, why were you the, so close to this No, no, man? I was in the stall next to him. And you smelled him. The stall? Well, of course, if you're in the stall, the stall next to him, it's, it's changing rooms. It's changing rooms. Oh, you're in the changing room next to him. Okay. I'm in the changing room. And dude, I walk in. Whoa, he just, smelled like a, a homeless person. Bro, worse. Worse. Dude, you don't understand. Maybe that was his apartment. It smelled like vomit, piss, shit. All at the same time. I have a question. All at the same time. When did you notice the smell? <laughs> hold uh, on, for real. When I walked into the the, the 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 stall, why did you stay? So hold on. So as soon as you closed I the didn't, door, I didn't. Uh, yeah, I, I closed it. Oh. So do you think maybe the smell was you being locked in there with your no. own odor? No, <laughs> no, because he would have been used to his own smell. No, he was never locked in a room with it. Because oh, you told me no, that no, odor. I was not locked in a room. Been. You told me that shit smelled. These are oh, these are open air. <laughs> you told me that shit smell traveled. Uh, it's it's open stalls. They're open. Have you never been to a winner's? Did you have to wait to They're see all, what the man looked like? No, 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 no. I, bro, I couldn't even finish trying on the clothes. That okay. bad. Because sometimes Dude, you have no, no, to... No. Through the wall. No, no. But it's it's a wall separating, but there's holes under and above. But that's still a heavy-duty smell to yeah, come out. Yeah, it must be... No, no, dude, you don't... It hit you like a punch in the face. Like that a punch in the like, face. That sounds like he jumped no. in a sewer and then went into winners. I, I, that sound... That, bro, I swear to God, I felt like I walked into a sewer. Dude, you understand? And I go... Ugh. <laughs> Enough for you to not even try on the <laughs> the skirt to, uh, you bought. <laughs> he's like, "Come on, man!" No, is he? Wait, he yelled at you for sneezing. No, yeah, yeah, because he's he like, he answered you. He goes, "What the fuck? What, what's your problem, man?" He literally answered you. And I go, "Dude, what the fuck is that smell?" So I start yelling. I go, "Dude, you smell. Take a shower." I'm yelling through the stall now. Dude, what the fuck? Did you shit yourself? I mean, and he goes, fuck you. Fuck you, I go to him. What the fuck is going on? That's and then funny because he confronted I him. I walked manager. out, and then I walked out, and I yelled, bro, take a fucking shower. <laughs> like this. And then I go to the lady who I was changing. I go to her, ma'am, I'm pretty sure someone vomited in the stalls. And I'm yelling, and everyone turned around and looked at me. I go, that's disgusting. I couldn't even try on all my clothes. I don't want these clothes anymore. I was this bro, I was so disgusted. What did she say? And she oh, that, at, that's Sylvan. He's here all the she time. She looked at me. In disbelief, she goes, I don't... What? This was, said, this come was and I go to her, near here. I go to her, this was near here. Yeah, I go to her, go smell. <laughs> so you sent go her smell. Go she goes, oh my God, okay. And you, I walked off. Oh, you sent her and she smelled? Yeah, but I didn't I didn't, I didn't. You stick didn't around. You didn't stay for the smell. Oh, you should have stuck around. I should have stuck around, but <laughs> I was so point, angry. Yeah. I was so angry. I marched off. Bro, like, I left everything there. Like when Jerry makes the maitre d' of the restaurant go into the smelly car. And he locks him in. Yeah. Bro, it was so <laughs> bad. I can imagine. For you to dude, react like that. Dude, you don't. Bro, it was like. <coughs> exactly that. With Poseidon's, speaking of which, Adam, we got to bring you back for um, your uh, Adam's uh, springtime fashion collection. Oh, yeah. Sure. We got to well, get past the winter. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Springtime is, you know, the <laughs> fashion <laughs> runways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. The, the run, you know, now the springtime collection is showing up, so we're going to get you some nice, um, you know. Uh, okay, let me see if I can ask a question which I believe is fair. Pantelis, had you been in my situation and you're on a show which with one? some other people, the one about the thing with the criminality. Yeah. And let's say three buddies, friends, associates of yours bring them onto their show, bring yeah. you onto their it's show. It's already happened, yeah. And they bring up 
they brush up on a subject like, I don't care what it is. Yeah. yeah. The first time you had sex, doesn't matter. Okay. A subject that you consider touchy. Well, you were there. You so bring you remember. it up. <laughs> and now they're coercing you into getting more information. Would you have said, no, that's my private well, business? Watch, no watch, one coerced watch. you. They yeah. asked you a question like an adult. Here. Uh, yeah. And I've been in situations where there's stuff I don't want to talk about. I just yeah. won't talk about them. Watch and, this. Watch this. And if I want to. Uh, tell us. Yo. Well, uh, uh, tell me about the first time you had sex. Adam, would you tell them about the first time me and you had sex? That's nobody's business. Okay, there you Boom. go. Boom. And now but I'm not you. My That's question, exactly my how question you have a bit of My uh, question is, would you have found a way in your own words to say that, Pantelis? What? Fine. I, I got up. A, I give you a good example. So these two other friends that you have, they're on. You, you're on their show. I've been on shows where and people they have ask asked you about that. Let's say. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. People have asked me stuff that I don't. Say? If I don't want to talk, I tell them it's not something I want to talk about. That's private. That's it's it. private, but it's rare. Even when it's crazy shit, I'll talk about it normally because it's. I don't know. It depends what it like. Let's say right now, had you committed a crime, mm -hmm. had you actually com you committed a crime, not mm -hmm. you were tricked into committing a crime, right. then I would, I wouldn't want you to say it, or I wouldn't say it if I was in your shoes because I don't want to go to jail, right? Oh. But that's not what happened. Like if you went up here and Fair you were enough. talking about a crime you committed, right. and then the cops find out about it and you get arrested, I'd be like, oh, you're a fucking idiot. Why would you mention that? But you were talking about a time that you were tricked. Because this show could be evidence. I just yeah, thought exactly. about it. Yeah. But you were talking about a time that you were tricked by criminals. Right. But also, Adam. Uh, we're kind of creating art here, so all of this is allegedly. Like, yeah, all this. Uh, you know what I mean? Like I've I've said well, Adam, I've, I've Adam, threatened how people. We already have a city where hold it took on place. I've, I've, Adam, threatened Adam, Adam, I've threatened people. I've threatened people with throwing them off of a balcony. We're allegedly, all, we're all actors. I'm a black man. <laughs> Adam, I, I have a really bad naivety filter <laughs> was, when, when people. Okay. That one has layers to it. I, I have a bad naivety filter when people tell me stuff. Okay, you are the champion of it. <laughs> Like I I, I, I I get oh, <laughs> I get I get I I am a little naive and stupid with stuff like that. And you, my friend, are the Michael Jordan of the sport. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if I could just paraphrase what you said a moment ago, there's nothing inappropriate about what you guys said. You made a conversation in that as part of that conversation. I gave you more depth. I yep. didn't have to, and that's it. Okay. That's it. You don't have to. You don't have to do anything. You how don't are have you to. Still stuck on this. Yeah. How are you still stuck well, on this? Well, I was OCD. OCD. Yeah. Oh no. I, no. I just wanted to understand your thought pattern. Do you think that your the, sto the your story with your lawyer going to court all that? Do you think that had you kept it a secret, people would view you differently in the comments? Good question. Because that's what I'm it seems like. To say yes. Because that's what it extent. seems like you're circling around. Because it's because uh, that's why I asked what bothered you about it. But you, it seems to be like well, some people don't really like it. But that's not just so you understand. That is a funny story, and you are dumb for falling for that. However, that's not the dumbest thing. The thing that makes people the most angry, if you look at the comments, isn't that story. That story, they kind of give you the benefit of the doubt. The I story, remember one guy said, I'd like to help this guy, get this yeah. guy a lawyer or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Go on. But, but yeah. what I'm trying to tell you is the story that gets people mad that they get, they're like, this guy's a fucking retard, <laughs> is is all the you getting scammed by fake women on the internet. That drives me crazy. And, and still trying to defend yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. So oh. all the stuff that, I, that you think I'm the only one that sees clearly, like I'm some fucking genius, Every Tom, Dick, and Harry with an IQ higher than 30 understands it. That's what makes them angry. It, it's not that the Longue story is the best one you have because you're kind of the victim. Right. These other ones, you're asking for it. You're 100% asking for it. Like, it's okay. obvious that you're getting scammed. The Longue one, you got fooled by a, by a criminal. <coughs> it happens. Yeah. And also, you're not even a rat. They asked you to rat him out, and you didn't even want to rat them out. Mm. That's integrity. You're like the opposite of uh, what's his fucking name? Takashi Six Nine. Yeah, there you go, the yeah. rainbow dude. Yeah, the guy from New York. I'm right? sorry, who got a, uh, a big uh, guess, internet guy got arrested some... this week? Andrew, Andrew Tate. Tate. Yeah, They're because he was. Him of, no, he didn't uh, get. He, I mean, he went to the precinct, but then he's out right away. Okay. What was the oh, charge? Oh, they made it seem like it was a big thing. What was the charge? Human uh, trafficking. Yeah, human trafficking. Oh shit. Uh, sex trafficking, to be specific. And I found out uh, what happened finally. Oh. Um, was he uh, spotted? Allegedly, he my, was swatted. Oh, they, that was my theory. Basically, some uh, some dude from the States is dating this girl. And then uh, this girl reached out to Andrew Tate and be like, oh, I want to see you. Blah. And he's like, All right, I'm going to fly you out. And what happened was, and she told him, she's like, yo, I'm going to go see Andrew Tate and get fucked because you're a pussy beta bitch. Jesus Christ. What, a and like, what does that what it mean? And then this man going, oh, you know what? I'm breaking up with this broad. Uh, I'm not going to put up with this shit. What he did was... Uh, and uh, she 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 f got flown out, and then he basically uh, was trying to call her and she wasn't replying because uh, Andrew Tate, because of where he lives and shit, 
he doesn't want people filming and uh, the, the address and uh, some mountains in Romania or whatever the fuck. <coughs> he doesn't want people filming, so he tells all the broads to put their phone on the side in some box, whatever. You know their phones are yeah, safe. Yeah, I know, I know. And uh, he, because she wasn't answering, he's like... Uh, uh, he's like he called the police apparently, or like uh, Interpol or some shit. Oh, it's not exactly swatted, but I yeah yeah. Yeah, okay. but something like that. He's like, uh, he's a uh, he he's human he trafficking. Uh, the cops? My girlfriend, he kidnapped my girlfriend. Blah blah blah. What I need. Meanwhile, apparently, uh, this is the story that I heard. I don't know how true this is, mm. but how quickly he came out, they don't talk about. There's still yeah yeah yeah. Because yeah, if he was sex trafficking, he wouldn't be out three hours later uh, making a YouTube video. If he was sex trafficking, he would have yeah, been Jeff he would have been promoted bro. by the media. Yeah, that's true too. Oh, yeah. If he was sex trafficking, he'd be in charge of CNN by now. How do we know? <laughs> Basically, he's a target for them, and they're trying to. Okay. How do we whether know or not he's a piece of shit? Yeah, How do we know that people he wasn't online, on bail? Hold on, and then people online because he didn't actually commit a crime. And this is Romania. And then people online made it try to make it seem like Greta Thunberg got him in jail, which wasn't true. It was no, it wasn't true. true. It was bullshit. Yeah. Um, um, Are they blaming Greta so Thunberg? while while we're talking about they're this? Blaming is, what? Sorry, they're blaming Greta Thunberg <laughs> or her dad because he runs a Twitter account. The activist. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hmm. While, or George well, Soros. Um, no, her dad runs her Twitter account. Oh yeah, okay. That tiny penis comment that was her dad. Isn't she? Um, oh um, really? Yeah, also, her dad uh, runs um, like uh, Asperger's or something. She yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Right. She has some mental disability. Yeah, Down syndrome. Uh-huh. For real. Interesting. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought. Her, I think no, I think she. she legit yeah. Is, uh, that's what kind of makes her impressive. That's, yeah. uh, okay. Obviously, she's listening to what she other has no people filter say. when she talks. How yeah, dare you? Yeah, yeah, but but what makes her impressive <coughs> is other people with the same like um, setbacks. Couldn't do half the shit she does. That's the truth. They get scammed on the internet <laughs> by fucking <laughs> fake women. I think on that note, we're going to close off the show, right? Hey, oh. uh, thank you guys for tuning in on another Woozy to episode. A, episode 99. Woozy, to, to, a, to a great 2023, everybody. A great 2023. I, uh, quickly, we- I want to give a shout out. Sorry. For New Year's. Thank you to Norm, Mario, Karin, Anthony, Jade, and Fred D'Artagnan. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, we wish you all a happy new year and uh, all the best in the new year. Uh, we all hope you attain your goals, your health goals. I'm talking to myself at this point. Uh, <laughs> uh, I am Poseidon.com. All my links are there. Link tree slash I am Poseidon. Pantelscomedy.com for all Pantelis' stuff. Guido still doesn't know how to use the internet. Uh, Guido uh, Grasso uh, JR. Guido Grasso JR. He uh, may yeah. get back to you sometime no, no, I am, uh, I am, I am, in I am, the long time no, no, future. Um, Patreon.com slash Pantelis for exclusive shit. Uh, Pantel's the show every Tuesday night at the Bordell. Adam looks like he's gonna murder us. Adam is the pornographic conservative. Yeah. Uh, and don't on forget, Instagram. you want to bring Adam out on a date? That's on us. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's on us. We're gonna take care of y'all. Uh, gonna have a good time. He's a great conversationalist, as you can tell. As you can tell. Uh, I think that's it, guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, eat the my asshole, beach. <laughs> <laughs>